This is the truth why Sky Bree and Nick Nehersina, I don't know, broke up. I don't know who these people are. I'm excited to jump into this bubble. It was suggested by one of you. I'm very excited to see what we're going to see. Oh, and before I move into it, check this out. The top comment is, I hate being right all the time about these 304s from Fresh and Fit in Miami. So, you know, hopping right back into the Fresh and Fit bubble. Let's go. Fair. Nick is... <laughs> Fair. Okay. Fair. Nick is. Is it, is it recording? Dude, Nick is so nervous. This is hilarious. Uh, this is, I don't know how what to. What the f is going on? Does anybody know who these people are? Can anyone, like, I know who Bradley Martin is, but who are the, his guests? Does anybody know? Bro, Dude, what? it's weird. And I'm going to link the video in the chat, of course. To, like, talk about your relationship on, like, on Yeah, but, like, you, okay, you, you can't avoid it now because you've already talked so much. You guys, obviously, it's aware. Everyone's I mean, aware. Didn't want to do it, but she had to drop, like, a. Thing that a TikTok, big, yeah, yeah. So listen, he comes to the gym and he's like telling me, he's like, "Yo, did you see this?" I'm like, "What the?" F and so, why, like, what, what's going on actually? Because like, I don't really know the true story. I don't really know everything. There's obviously a lot more than just that video. Yeah. Okay. Well, people, I feel like people started speculating before we even like actually broke up. Yeah. So That's you guys right was going now are on. broken up. Yeah. Oh sh. Yeah. This is so weird. Is it? So weird, bro. I've I, talked I, about I, a lot of things on the internet, but I've not had to talk about like a relationship. It's weird when like it's this. just like, it's too real. Okay, hold on. I want to say something already starting off. Here, I don't even have to do that because I'm big now. Okay, listen, I want to say something. Just starting off. Um, Sky Bree is like the biggest corn star right now. Really? Oh gosh, I don't know anything about this. Okay, exciting. I love it. Pro sex work here. We're pro body positivity here. Let's go. Um, I will say this. Just looking at them right now, of course, they're not going to be together forever. Can I just be honest with you? Certain types of people, like I said at the beginning of the stream, when you look at them, you know they're not the ones to get married young. So if I looked at them as broken as they are right now, like certain people aren't going to be together when they're young. Like some couples, like, you know, when you see someone dating at 15, they're like, I'm going to marry my boyfriend. You're not really going to marry your high school sweetheart, right? Statistically, you're not going to marry him. So I don't know why we let people run around thinking they are. Like dating is to get to know yourself and those people. Dating, that's why some people don't believe in high school dating because like you're not going to marry that person, dude. But when you're in certain communities, you might be the people who do that. You might in a certain bubble, right? In a certain place, you might be the person who marries your high school sweetheart. Or you might be a person that gets married at 18 to 21. Or you might be in a religious bubble where like you get married pretty young. It was clear to me that like my brother, once he found his wife, would get married to her very quickly. And they did in their early 20s. Now they have four kids. They're heading into their 30s. They're very successful. Everything is great. But it was clear that I was not going to be a person who was going to get married in my 20s. Like even the people I was dating, I was like, you're not the pro you're not the one. I know you're not. As much as I feel like I'm in love with you, I know you're not the one. And then when I found the one, I was like, oh, I'm going to marry him. Put a ring on it, right? These people, that's what I say, like, Everyone has a different love story. Everyone has a different way they get married. Everyone has a different trajectory when they commit to each other, right? So you don't need marriage, but you need commitment. Right off the bat, I'm looking at them and I'm like, oh, they're like learning, right? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to put the pressure on these people to stay together. So when I see a, a, a comment from Fresh and Fit that say like, I, I hate being right all the time about these 304s, what you're right about is continually picking a demographic that's young want something different, it is going to change, right? Like Fresh and Fit will say like, we have people from all around the world with all kinds of degrees, but they're still all the hoes in that group. My sister-in-law and I wouldn't be on your show because we're not those kinds of girls. I might be on OnlyFans and my sister-in-law might have been a virgin before she was married, but we do not hang out with men like you. We don't think you're cool. We think you're losers. No offense. And so again, like the women, like even calling a woman a 304, Ma'am, like that's a bubble. Like you don't, who talks about, you know what I mean? Like I get what you're trying to say, but if you only surround yourself with those kinds of women, you're going to think all women are like that. So again, is this girl a hoe or is she literally just a young person who isn't obligated to stay in a relationship just because she was in one? And also I already feel for the guy. He looks pretty sad. Oh, man. Well, have you ever, you've never really put a relationship on the internet before? No, that, never. Yeah. So like... I think the best thing to do is to talk because otherwise, like, people just go, oh, f this guy, f that girl, blah, blah, blah. This is why. And they just speculate, make it up instead right, of just, yeah. like, just letting people know what it is, you know? Yeah, right. maybe it is a good idea because I'm getting, like, 
every comment on the YouTube video, what happened with you and Sky? And my DMs yeah. are that, everything. Our and Discord. people, because because you guys are willing to put your relationship out there, like they get invested in like whether it's mm -hmm. good or bad or it's still there or not, you know? Mm -hmm. right. If you just disappear, Parasocial. everyone's like, well, everyone's gonna be like, well, what the f happened? Yeah. So it's like addressing yeah. it, I think, is always a good idea. So what? So what? Why, why did you post a TikTok? Why are you saying it? I didn't post a TikTok. So I was live on TikTok, and someone they just started asking, like, "Are you still with Nick?" And I said, "No, we broke up." And they were like asking what happened, obviously. And I just said, "I don't know. Go ask him." Oh. There but were just some happened? differences. There were differences. Yeah. Well, tell us what actually happened. If you had to guess what happened, what would you think? Okay. <laughs> yeah, what like do you think the what, issue what you, is? What do you think, Brad? Values. Well, <laughs> okay. Different My values. expert opinion. <laughs> um, obviously, you know, you you do a certain kind of work. What? You think it's over corn? Maybe. Uh, I'd imagine that, oh, and I don't values. know enough about this. This is the first time I'm talking about this. I imagine that it probably got to him at some It got to him too much to where he's like, ah, I don't know if whatever. Wow, you nailed it. That was exactly it. Oh. But like, okay, that's not all of it. Well, yeah, there's got to be more. There's two sides. Yeah, there's two. There's definitely two sides. Okay. But so, so what's 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 different or what's new that is like? Because mm -hmm. like it wasn't mm -hmm. like that in the beginning. You guys knew yeah. what it was. You Great both question. Great question, Bradley. I'm always sick of these men who date people in in corn, and then they're like, "Oh my gosh, like I wanted you to change afterwards." It's like, no, this is an episode of How I Met Your Mother, and you're not Barney Stinson. What are you doing? So again. I really appreciate this question because, again, this is a values thing. And if it is going to eat you up, like, look, my husband married me knowing I'm on OnlyFans and I really like it. Now, I don't do corn technically. Like, I mean, I do OnlyFans stuff, but I don't I don't know if she's doing boy girl scenes or something, but I don't do that stuff. And I wouldn't be a, like a quote unquote allowed to based off the boundaries of my relationship with my husband. So him and I agreed that we don't want each other kissing anybody else, cuddling anyone else, confiding in anyone else in a very intimate way. We don't want... Um, like we have boundaries in our own marriage is what I'm trying to say. But those boundaries don't include me posting naked on OnlyFans. He doesn't care about that. But some people's husbands would. So I'm curious about those limitations. But I would be very upset if I married my husband. And then he was like, oh, I want you off OnlyFans completely. I'd be like, why? We're both sex positive. We both watch porn. Like why? Right? Like why? This is so weird. So I could understand dating is for the purpose of what? Breaking up. The whole point of dating is to either find your soulmate or break up. Right. It's either to find your person or to break up. So I'm proud of them for breaking up because that's really, really good. It means you are not going to drag it on for years. You're not going to lie to each other. You're not going to stay committed when you can't stay committed. This is a good sign that they broke up because it means now they can move on, even though it's painful, even though it's painful, even though they have goals together, even though they loved each other, even though it's very hard, and even though already this boy looks uncomfortable, it is better to break up than to get married and get divorced. It is better to 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 humanize each other enough to not lie or overpromise to one another. And y'all be overpromising because you don't want to break someone's heart. What's worse? Overpromising and breaking someone's heart in 10 years or right now where they're going to get over it in a few months. I mean, come on. You both knew what it was. You both knew where you came from. I think that he acted chill in the beginning. Which <laughs> <laughs> he fished you. Well, that's how I feel like a lot of guys are in the beginning of relationships. Like they're like easy going, but then once the feelings start to like get deeper and you get like more involved with someone then like, and you're like actually in love with them, then stuff like gets to them easy. And then he started. Yeah, I can admit like fair. on my side. Very fair. I think as things grew and, you know, I fell in love and some things I think like did make me go like a little off the wall, like yeah. it would Fair. bother me things. And I had to really tell myself, like I knew what I got myself into. I shouldn't be bothered by that. But I think that's not like, that's not everything. It's. And then he started accusing me of cheating on him. This no, I did that. not accuse you of cheating on me. I just like would like, you know, sometimes you would wonder like, <laughs> no, I'm guy. traveling. She's doing her thing. Like you don't like there's Okay. That's totally fair. Look, trusting someone is incredibly difficult. I think we act like it's easy. We're dating. You should trust me. Just because you're dating doesn't mean you have to trust them. You're usually dating to get to know if you should trust them. It's not about her doing corn work. It's not about him traveling a lot and doing his own thing. It's about the reality of your character. And if you don't trust your judgment of their character, you will doubt them. Again, it's not about trusting your partner. It, totally. It's about trusting yourself to judge their character correctly. 
I'm judging the character of my husband. He is judging my character. It would be out of character for me to cheat. It would be out of character for him to cheat. It wouldn't make sense within his character. And that's the point, right? Like when I asked my dad the other day, because you guys, we were watching a guy say like all men cheat, blah, blah, blah. I told my dad, like, hey, have you ever cheated on my mom? And he was very much like, Betsy, I love you and, your, you and your mom more than I love anyone. Men who cheat are rats. My dad says men who cheat are rats, right? And we even said, I don't think farm brother would ever cheat on his wife. It's out of character. So you have to marry someone with good character who will not cheat on you because people with good character, according to your values, like mine, don't cheat on you. If you have bad character or you're traumatized or you're weak or you're toxic or dysfunctional, meaning not good character all the time, though you could be those things and still have a good character, it's dependent, you would not be a candidate worth dating for the long term, for commitment. So really right here, what he's saying is he doesn't know himself well enough to judge her character, nor the, does he know her character enough to trust her, which is fair. And to be honest with you, they're probably not each other's soulmates, so it's okay. And seeing everything online, it's like sometimes it is hard, but yeah. I think like... Is it things that you're seeing like she's posting or things that people are saying or like what is the thing that's making you think that? I think like, I'm just going to be real, like her Twitter, it's almost like, and I get tagged in a lot of things. And when you're seeing like, oh, this is coming out and this is coming, I'm like, what the f is going on? Like, yeah. that makes me tweak out a little bit because like, I can accept the OnlyFans, I'm cool with the OnlyFans, but I'm like, I thought we put... I thought we put that in the past. I think she's so much better than that. She, she's an incredible girl. She's so smart, sweet. She, she was like my rock. Amazing. Um, it was. It sounds such a right, fuck. That it's hurt. So, that, that's that's fucked up. And uh, and now he's you know, bullshit. He never even liked OnlyFans. He hates OnlyFans. He okay. says it all the time. Like I wish you it. didn't have to do this. Like had issues with me even just doing like solo content. Okay. Yeah. So look, like what is what? So solo content is just like like I hmm. go live like once a week. Uh, for an hour and they like tip and the more they tip the more I do mm. and like I would tell him like babe I have to go live today and he would be like <sighs> it's hard. moping around okay like damn <laughs> but you knew what it was I know it's so what 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 do you I think, think it's tough mm -hmm. he knew what it was he didn't know what it was and it's really hard because you can logic it you'd be like okay yeah that's cool go live no problem but when you're in it I think he has the right to feel sad about this I think he has the right to feel away about this I feel like he has the right to say like, oh, I'm not comfortable with this actually. I'm so sorry, which is why we give steps into the courting or dating process. The reason I say just because you're dating doesn't mean you need to be committed is what I mean is like be committed in the relationship you're doing, but I mean lifelong commitment. So again, I'm only talking about lifelong commitment. I'm not talking about, and I'm talking about monogamous obviously because in their situation, they're monogamous. She doesn't sleep with other people, but she does corn, which is fine. Right. Okay. Very almost similar to my relationship. Like we're monogamous, but I do OnlyFans, but I don't do any boy girl stuff and I only do solo stuff. Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Here's the thing. You have to be experienced enough in understanding sex work to know what you're consenting to. You don't have to be a guy who slept with a bunch of girls or dated a bunch of models or been with a lot of OnlyFans people. You don't have to actually have the experience, but you have to have the knowledge. And he doesn't have the knowledge. So it's not like he needed to date a bunch of girls who had OnlyFans. He needed to have the knowledge of the industry, which he doesn't have. He doesn't have access to it. So this is his opportunity to get a tool. The universe just handed him one and said, hey, girl, you can't handle dating sex workers. Don't do this later, okay? That's all it is. He is allowed to realize about himself that he can handle dating a sex worker. I think that is so important to know because you don't want to over promise to your partners, which it seems like happened on accident, that you're capable of handling this. Because obviously you're not. It often happens in open and poly and sex work and alternative relationships where people think like, I can do this. I can date a guy who's on the road for six months out of the year. I can date a girl who's on the road. Oh yeah, I can, I can do this. But can you, like, I don't date strippers because they usually work nights and I hate customers who are at the strip club because they're usually like consent violating whores, not the women, the men or the customers. I hate it. And I don't want my partner. I don't like the idea of setting my partner into a job where they're going to be like sexually harassed at work. Absolutely not. But if it was a strip club where it was like very, very, first of all, work during the day and very, very, very good about security, maybe because I love stripping. I love pole. I think it's so great. But I hate how much like non-consensual stuff happens because customers are bad at being customers okay 
So I don't know that I'd be open to dating a stripper because I think I'd be stressed all the time. I wouldn't want to date a fireman. I wouldn't date a police officer. I wouldn't date so many kinds of jobs because it would stress me out. But I know that about myself because I go on introspective journeys and it sounds like this kid is now learning this thing about himself and he's getting a tool. So good for him. But of course, it means that he doesn't get to be with the girl that he's in love with. And he'll probably fall out of love with her, which is appropriate, and he'll fall in love with somebody new. Right. And she will do the same. She deserves to have somebody. Well, I don't know her, but she deserves, let's say, in theory, to have somebody who loves her and understands her industry. For me, knowing that all these other dudes are watching that and that's hard. Like for me, the kind of guy I am, a very one on one kind of person, sexually in a relationship, all of that. Like Mm -hmm. I'm very one on one. It's all about how I was raised, how I've been. I can't. It's hard. That's hard. But you knew that. I know. That's the thing. You knew it. It's tough, man. I'm battling, bro. That's why my feelings are hurt. Because he knew what it was when he started dating me. And I didn't do anything. I was loyal or whole. But he overpromised because he didn't know himself well enough not to overpromise. It's one of my pet peeves. When I say be introspective, I mean also learn not to overpromise. My partner and I have a very, very, very strong rule in our relationship no overpromising. If you say, like, I'm going to take out the trash and you know you're not going to be able to do it by the end of the day because your spoons are off, I'd rather you just say, I don't have the spoons for this or I might not. Is that okay? Yes. Who cares? But if you tell me I'm going to take out the trash, I'm going to do this, I'm going to just, and day after day after day you don't do it and you don't have a reason and it's not making sense, it's going to build resentment. Don't overpromise to your partners. But again, you usually learn that over time and you learn it by being introspective. And Habibi, this man... He just didn't have the tools. He doesn't seem ill-intentioned to me, though. Whole relationship. I was too. Yeah, I know. But um, so it's like hurtful to me because it's like I was good. Like I did everything I was supposed to. I was a good Mm -hmm. girlfriend, but still like Mm -hmm. I'm the one that like the relationship ended because of me because you like couldn't handle seeing the and stuff. Is that is that really just it? I mean, I think there's a little bit more. I think, okay. I think looking back, I should have been more chill out about the solo shit. She's not with other dudes. Yeah. She's doing her thing. She 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 probably went from here to here for me, getting rid of all that. I was probably here and went to here. So she gave up a lot yeah, I more. I, I I can agree with that. Um and I think, you know, I did let it get to my head a little bit. But there are things that I Yes, Colleen, we love to see it. I was stripping when I met my husband and I switched to the day ship for our relationship to improve our relationship. Let's go. We have to make sacrifices sometimes, but you know, honestly, the sacrifices are worth it because the ups, it's all about investment. I like to think of it as an investment even more than a sacrifice, you know? But this is interesting. Like, these are good questions and I like the self-awareness. I really am not mad at anybody. It feels like, oh, I just want to comfort them though. I just want to be like, hey guys, this is normal and it's okay. And this is a life lesson, maybe not your soulmate, but the good news is like you both know you're good people, but like you guys just weren't ready. Because like it does suck from her perspective thinking I finally found a guy that understands me. I found a guy that doesn't think less of me. I found a guy that's secure enough to handle my job. And then boom, that's really painful. And on his front, he's like, holy crap, I actually can't handle this. I'm over promising. I can't believe I'm doing this to her. Ugh. Need to do on my platform that kind of like I want to do that I think is good for my content. Like, like, like talking what? with like girls, like flirting with girls. And, and nothing more than that. You know, I think going out. But with- he wanted to flirt with girls on his <laughs> YouTube before we even broke up. So it's like I had to stop doing own like. She's but te- you but can be out here me- actually talking okay, okay. and flirting with girls. Okay, okay. But she's telling me that she wants to use old boy girl content and, and put that out as new boy girl content. I'm like. No, just we like were- re-releasing stuff yeah, that hadn't but, ever but it's, been But it's released. being branded. I just re-released um, one of my classic videos myself, How to Make a Girl. Um, honestly, it's a banger. And I just re-released it because somebody reminded me it existed. And I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot. This video is great. So I just re-released it, but only for November. And it's not new content. So let's see what she did because she's branding it as new content. That's a little weird because she probably looks different. It is new. I thought we're over well, that. Well, it is new, but like that new, new. What does that mean? Like it's new to the platform. That's... Like, like it's, I have content that I filmed, but I just never released. Oh, then it is new content. Well, it's, it's called, what is it called in the industry? It's called, um, never released, never seen before, never released. So it is brand new. The guys are making, well, they're making it sound like she's lying, but she, 
if she says we filmed this this year, that's a lie. But if she says unreleased, never before seen content. But so like, over time, I slowly release it. So it is new. Like in my head, I'm like, we're over that. It's done. Like this is, <sighs> that should be in the, <laughs> Yo, that but, should be in the, okay. was that, hold on, hold on. I have a genuine, genuine question. Was that, that conversation before you broke up or after you broke up? Um, I think that's like kind of what made us go our separate ways. Yeah. The whole yeah. thing is that like here. That was the. This is I the thing like that I'll just tell you. It's We're both. Interesting. So she had pre-recorded content to release over time. Pretty standard. And he didn't want anyone to have the idea in their heads that she was currently having sex with someone probably. Mm. Yeah, 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 Senzi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, He doesn't want anyone anyone to people he doesn't want people to misconstruct the idea of her fucking someone else while with him the dilemma is she's a corn star it doesn't matter the people that would think ill of her are gonna think ill of her and the people that are gonna think Ill, ill of him are gonna think ill of him that's yeah damn that's too bad mm. Mm, yeah it's in our 20s she's created a whole brand for herself she's done it i have an opportunity to, to do something there's things I feel like we both feel like we got to do. Mm-hmm. And it came to the point where we couldn't compromise for each other. So I feel like, you know, I have to go out with my guys and do what we got to do. Like to talk in a girl book. It's, it's, it's so nothing. So it's just like, No, he is jealous too, though. Jealousy means the fear of like losing something, right? So he is jealous and he's insecure. He's jealous that he's going to lose her because that's why he thinks like she's cheating maybe. And he's, and he's um, insecure enough to lose her anyways. It's a bummer. It's like, it's, it's bullshit. Yeah, it's, that, it's does funny. That bu- it's does funny. that bug you? It's so, it's just comedy. I mean, he like gets upset. He got upset sometimes when I went on even e-dates, which is like virtual. Okay, I will admit that that was, but that's because I wasn't allowed. Every to, time but, but, he hold, was no, upset. No, but here's the thing. She told me before, you can't go do girl stuff. I don't want you doing girl stuff. So when I see her doing stuff, floating with other guys, I'm like, okay, you're telling me not to do girl stuff. I'm going to have an issue too. <laughs> Eventually I did say that. Do what you have to do. Like she, you she, she claims she claims. Is he a corn star too? I'm so confused. Wait, is he? Why is he going on e dates? Is he a YouTuber or is he a corn star? Now I'm confused. I'm. Uh, it's different. I'm the princess. Like I'm like what? Hell no! Like if you're, <laughs> okay, if you're okay. making a rule for me, it's gonna go both ways. Like that's the truth. I'm sorry. Why is that job? funny? I don't know. Why? Because I think it's. Let's get too personal. Huh? <laughs> He's a yeah. Okay. okay, but I, I gotta ask this. A serious. I, I'm. <laughs> So you guys were together and you were like, yo, I'm going to release some old stuff, but it's new. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Oh, okay. I'm going to tell you. Wait, 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 wait. Him doing e-dates as a YouTuber is different than her doing e-dates as a sex worker. The sex worker is a fantasy. It's never real. Him doing e-dates as a YouTuber is funny if it's for a show, but it less makes sense if people think it's real. I'm a little confused now. Tell you my perspective on that. <laughs> okay. Because to everyone on the internet, it's brand new. Yeah. So to everyone on the internet. I look like an idiot. To everyone on the internet, after the time when you guys were like, yo, I'm not doing this. I'm giving up that. Like that boy girl thing. You're now just kind of doing it all over again to everyone. So perspective wise, like if if you're an audience person, you're someone watching this. When they see that, they go, this is brand new. And then immediately they go, she's having sex with dudes on camera again. Mm. What the fuck are you doing, Nick? Right. I'm okay with him having an issue with her work and everything they weren't meant to be. But it's interesting. Yeah, as a... Yeah, my... mm, To be fair, I don't do e-dates or anything for my OnlyFans, right? I don't think my partner would like it either. But my my, I wear my wedding ring and my OnlyFans stuff. Like, I don't sell a girlfriend experience. I don't sell, like, you're doing anything with me. Like, I wear my wedding ring, you know, in all my photos and stuff. My audience is really dope on OnlyFans. I have the best OnlyFans audience, obviously. Because they they like understand that I'm I'm here to make positive content, but also like I'm not selling the girlfriend experience, right? So I it sounds like she's selling a girlfriend experience and he's selling like a boyfriend experience on his YouTube channel. And it sounds like both of them aren't on the same page about the goal of why we're doing this as a couple, you know? And he would never be able to avoid that. And I'm not saying this is like a, you know, this is to each their own to decide whether they want to deal with that or not, but like that's that goes directly against I think the conversations I think I wasn't part of some conversations about that in the past like why you know like you were giving that up Mm -hmm. and so you got to some point where you were like well I'm not going to give that up essentially again where you came back to it for some reason 
I think it was just I I don't really look at it like that because it's not stuff that I ever filmed while we were dating or like it's stuff yeah. that I filmed before I even like met him. I so it. it's like it's already I already made the content. And also, OK, the big. But for you, me, you, I still have to make money like of mm -hmm. I'm in my early 20s. I'm mm -hmm. branded for life like he, his thing is like. You could do other things, which I do uh, do other things. I do Twitch, but he's like, you can make money other ways, like blah, blah, blah. But it's like, I am so heavily branded as a porn star. And like, I always will be like, if we're being honest, like that's yeah. something that like people do not lose. Like if you do. Like it's so true. Like she's so self-aware in this. I think he just overpromised innocently. Like, I don't think he meant to, but he really did overpromise. It is what it is. That's why when you're dating someone, you got to know what their values are. And he's maybe not old enough or ready enough to know his values. Because, again, when I said I dated a sex positive or I married a sex positive person, I'm saying literally it was a very important question I asked him. Like, literally, are you pro-sex work? Like, are you pro-sex, like, people having bodily age? Do you watch porn? Like, are you pro all these things? And he was like, yeah, dude. Like, obviously, I'm in huge support. Like, in a real way. Because, yeah, I've dated people in the past that said they were. And then they just got weird or they were like, oh, you're going to stop that when we get married, though, or something. And I'm like, hmm? no, what? No, I want to be 80 years old and on OF. Like, I want to be an old lady doing cool nude art, like, on the Internet, you know? Like, I'm doing this even though I know my mom and dad could come across my – I know. They know. I'm just like, I don't care. I'm just doing what I want to do. And so for me, like, you got to be – you got to be unapologetic about it, you know? Also, I think it's funny that Fresh and Fit – Said, I hate being right all the time about, about these 304s. Um, he's the one who broke up with her. He's the one who couldn't handle her job after overpromising. It's okay that he did that because, like, we all got to learn sometime in our life. But I like how Myron always and Fresh always managed to blame the woman. They're so annoying. Ugh. That's, like, what you're going to be associated with. So it's, like, I can't. I don't have all these other like ways I can like make money and stuff. So it's like essentially I kind of started to feel like resentment towards him because I felt like he was like s limiting mm -hmm. me from like making money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You but know? you don't think there's other ways you can make money? Like, I mean, there's tons I mean, of there's brands and it that doesn't still matter. work with you. It she shouldn't have to. It doesn't matter. No. We can all make money different ways. Can't, we can all say that to our partners. But that's kind of messed up. Oh, your dream is to be an engineer? Mm, I don't like the hours. Can you make money doing something else? No, like you have to be a team in this. But again, for somebody like me, it's not even about the money. I want to do it for free if I want to do it. I just want to do it. You cannot be anti-nudity and date me. I'll be so annoyed with you. I'll be so annoyed with your prudishness. Like I'll be so annoyed. You know what I mean? But again, she needs to realize like this is my values. I'm also not, a, maybe it's not though. Maybe she doesn't know that yet about herself. Like, it's got to be a values thing. Like, yeah, I want a partner who wouldn't care, like, if our kids became when they were adults. Like, because it doesn't matter. You're moralizing it or, like, you're feeling bad because other people, other people are making you feel bad about your relationship. Unless it's unhealthy, like, who cares what other people are saying? It's hard. Harder. It's really, really hard. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no outside sources of income other than just, like, the No, OS? there are. There yeah. are, but it's, like, only for the bag is just so good. I know. And I enjoy doing, like, I enjoy running my only. Like, it's really fun. But he, like, hated it so much that I felt like I couldn't even, like, talk to him about, like, my I job think, or anything. Okay, this is this is where I'll say, you know, when you're being, I don't want to see any, of, you never want to see your girl ever with the past, whatever. Yeah, you know yeah what of I mean? course. And, and when you're tagged, you don't see what it is. And I've seen a few. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Course. I don't want to see any of you never want to see your girl ever with the past, whatever. Why not? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, course. and why not? That's your personal opinion. I, mm -mm. That's weird. I want to know everything about my partner. If my partner had old videotapes out there, I would watch every single one of them. You're crazy. If you think I don't want to know everything about my partner. Could you imagine your partner's got tapes out there and you don't want to watch them? Mm -mm. And. and when you're tagged, you don't see what it is, and I've seen a few, and it fucks me up, and it kind of does trigger me a little bit. And then I go, yeah, and I, he gets tagged on. and stuff. It triggers him, and then he takes it out on me. Okay, well, but no, it's like, why well, well, do anything? Well, wrong? here's the reason, because I'm. You know thinking, what's funny about this? Wait, tag can I say you one forever thing? now? Yeah, Stop. I know that's they're gonna what tag I mean. you for literally.
literally, this is my problem. You got to date somebody that really sees you and knows you and loves you and doesn't care. Like, you couldn't, Adam, this is not going to happen to Adam 22. He's not going to get tagged in a post with Lena and be like, oh my God, Lena's having sex with somebody. Else. This is not going to happen. You know what I mean? Or at least it shouldn't happen based off their history. That'd be weird. If Lena got triggered every time she saw Adam 22 with a girl, that'd be weird. Like, why are you doing this as your life? They, they aren't made to be a couple. They're not compatible enough. He just like, he's not ready. He didn't know what he signed up for. It is what it is, right? Mm. Forever now. I, it, it's inevitable. I'm sorry. All, <laughs> dude, I, all my comments, like, get, there's a lot of shit. He's seen it all now, I guess. I think, funny. like, it's not, it's not that that pisses me off. It's when I see that, and then I come back, and I'm like, I can't go do what I started this channel to be, like, to go do this girl stuff, but that's out there and being released. That's what, it's not the fact that it's that, but it's, I feel upset that I'm like, Okay, you can post all this stuff, but I can't go, like, just be funny and flirt with But I did and... tell you, it got to a point where it, I could tell that it was stressing you out. So I was like, okay, just do whatever is best. Like, You're saying despite him filming content with girls, you just he was just stressed about what you were doing. No, like, he was, like, because that's, like, what he started off doing, like, on YouTube, and it worked really well. And, like, I know, like, his fans, like, kind of, they want to see that. So, and I saw him, like, wanting oh, to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So that was like his thing. So yeah, like if it, oh, that's a problem when your brand is that kind of a brand. It's so difficult when your brand is being like attractive or dating because when you get in a relationship, that's why they say like um, a lot of OnlyFans people don't tell people they're in a relationship because it, it could ruin the vibe. Um, yeah, that's interesting that his content was also centered around his looks. So like please his fans and I want him to succeed on YouTube. So I was like, you know what? Like go back and do it. Like, I don't care. You can flirt with girls if that's like, what's going to like relieve some stress. Cause but nothing like content wise, it's not good for the relationship, bro. It's like, that's not, if, if I'm doing that, she's, she's actually upset. No, I told you I would, I would have gotten over it. I kept telling him, like I kept saying like, go out and do it. It's fine. Like, I don't care. Like I just want, What's best for he you seems to think too. that's not true. Well, that no, is no, true. That, that, no, is, that is true. It. But like, then she wants to do like girl on girl. And like, I, yeah, I feel uh, weird girl, about yeah. like, there's There's always something else that comes along with, okay, if you're going to do that, then I'm going to go do this. Yeah, He always accuses me of scheming. Scheming what? Like, she's he's always a, like, I feel like you're like up to no good. Like you're like planning things. Well, okay, ever, James is nodding his head. Sorry to put you on. You like, like, what the heck? I'm not. No, you are a very smart girl. And okay. Okay. This happens. Mm. Okay. Hold on. I have cracker all over my face. Okay. This is the difference between being a team and being like roommates almost. You're not in competition with your partner. You are not in competition with your partner. You guys are teammates. You're on the same team. You cannot one up each other. You are not in competition with within each other. You are not trying to beat each other out salary. You're not trying to beat each other out with views. The last person you should ever be in competition with is your partner. And but is a manipulation tactic to ask for one thing and then move the goal, the goal, the, the goal post. And I know people do this naturally. And even my partner and I talked about this when we talked about our boundaries. Like, hey, we just want to make sure that like we know what the boundaries are, right? So we know what it is, especially since I'm a content creator myself, right? And we had to really sit down. We had to have a few things like come into question. We had to be like, oh, what about this? And what about this? And what about this? And it's hard because you can't think of every scenario. So I believe she is doing this. I think a lot of couples do do this where it will be like, oh, like, can I do girl on girl? Like, I can't do girl on girl either. I'm a pansexual queen. So if I'm not having sex with boys, I'm certainly not having sex with girls. But then I'm like, ooh, what if I do a photo shoot like this with somebody or like this with somebody? Because like, does that mean I can never do a photo shoot with another person again? What does that mean? Now, I don't really work with people anyways. But if I was going to, what does that look like? Can I do that? And then it really gets down to discussing it with the partner, saying, what are your boundaries? Why do you have those boundaries, right? We want to make sure they're coming from a place of, of healthiness. And if they're coming from a place of like, this is just where I'm at right now, then we talk about recovery and getting better. So again, like, I, uh, yeah, oh, uh-huh, give an inch, take a mile. It's like you got to really believe in values and believe you're on the same team and be rooting for each other. But also, like, I have strong boundaries about what my partner can and can't do with other people. 
it's very limited. Like it's basically nothing. And same with me. Like we have, we basically can do nothing with other people. Let's just say nothing for the sake of argument. Like we can't do anything. So no e-dates, um, no, no, um, pretending I'm not married. No, um, I don't know. Like I'm trying to think of stuff like he, it's not like, yeah, we're just, no, like we, we can never pretend like it's, we're ever available for somebody else. Like we are committed. We're in a relationship. Now, again, it sounds like they didn't do that. It's not totally their fault because they're young. So let's keep going. But like no one's the bad guy here. They're just inexperienced. They don't know. They don't know what their values are yet. They don't even know why they're upset. They don't even know they're competing with one another. They don't know anything. You know, you know how to like, you know, she thinks I'm, she thinks I'm just this dumb idiot running around with the camera. I'm not dumb. I know. I you know are, she's yeah. very smart and she's, you have to be very smart to be successful where she is. Yeah. So what, am I manipulative? You're a, little man, yeah. you're a little manipulative. <laughs> yeah. It happens. It's very common in relationships. It's common at work. It's common in, at school. It's common with students and teachers. It's just when we think we can get a little bit more, we try, which is why the boundaries have to be very clear. Yep. <laughs> I love this. Yep. I love you this. are. And that's so what are you scheming? Nothing. Oh, that's man. the thing. Can you imagine a whole your whole relationship? You're being so good. I don't even go out. I just no, no, lay in bed she's all very day. Loyal. We're very I stay loyal. home. I, then I what is she scheming? I don't want her. That, exactly. No, He's no, always accusing like, me of. Shit. And I'm like, dude, uh, I don't even good. leave my nah, house. Gotta, what are, what is she scheming? He's the one out Tell all us. the time. No, nah, I feel like it's like if I say okay, if I were to say okay, I'm gonna go do this. This girl's. There'd be some back end like, okay, let's let's make this like girl thing. Because she's always like, if you're going to do that, this happened the other day right before we ended. If you're going to do that, <laughs> I want to do girl and girl. And boy. <laughs> and I'm like, see? Oh, what? See? Okay, yes. Um, <clears throat> A lot of couples do compete for sure. And I've been guilty of this in the past. It's like poison in a relationship, in my opinion. Same. I've had this happen in my past relationships where it felt like... um. Well, if you're going to sleep with this person, then like they're going to sleep with this person. And again, we're not, I don't want to one up you, bro. Even like one of my relationships, I was like not interested in other people for a really long stretch of time. And we were in an open relationship, a poly one. And he was like, hey, I feel kind of bad that I'm like seeing all these people and you're not seeing anyone right now. I was like, I don't care, bro. I'm working. I don't care. And he was like, yeah, but don't you care? I was like, literally, I don't. And it actually upset him a little bit that I wasn't more jealous, but I was like, whatever dude like go do you right I'm doing me but like we had more of a we weren't connected we weren't on a team so it felt like when he was doing his other stuff like I'm doing my stuff but like my stuff was work I feel very rewarded by working so again being in comp competition with your partner is not it's not great because like and then even saying like well you did it should I do it even with finances like my partner and I talk about this all the time because we share money right like we it's our money we're not you know and I said, like, even if we gave each other a budget and I was like, I didn't spend my budget for the month, I would just like give it to you. Be like, you want to buy something for yourself? I'm not a very like jealous person. I don't understand it. And then I'm not very envious at all. I wasn't raised that way. I don't even know what those mean. I know what they mean. But I'm like, no, I'm just doing my thing over here. I need a partner who's secure in that way. I need a partner that understands I'm never going to show jealousy because I don't care. Like, I love you and I'm committed to you. And I'm not afraid I'm going to lose you. Because if I was afraid I was going to lose you, I wouldn't have married you. I just wouldn't have married somebody that I thought was going to leave me for somebody else. I just wouldn't have done it. You know what I mean? If I ever get that feeling, that's a bad sign to me because of who I am as a person. So ultimately, I don't feel like they're bad people. I just feel like she is probably manipulating because like in an unhealthy situation where you don't know any better, you tend to do it naturally. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, that's not just me going out there and doing this. Like, I'm like, I don't want that yeah. to happen. I don't, I just, oh, I see. So you're like... <laughs> Do I, should I go do this then? Yes, because if I do it, I know there's going to be That's, some backlash. Damn. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And I will it's like a fake there. freedom. You're free to be who you want. I trust you. But also, if you're going to do this, I'm going to do this. You're like punishing him. It's not very nice. They're also like in a relationship, it is hard for me to like, I don't want to hurt her. He didn't even like me hanging out with Neon, though. No, I love Neon. I like Neon. You were skeptical about it at first. With I, What would Neon do? No, here's or the like thing. I, I, ho I would host e-dates on my Twitch, like people from all around the world. And he didn't even like that. He'd be like, no, as long as they're I'm all ugly. And I'm like, no. I can't just like host Okay, but here's the thing. No, no. All ugly when guys. that happened, when that happened, she was telling me that I couldn't do the flirting thing with my sh So I got upset about that. Uh, I get it. That's it's. Yeah. I'm such an, an equal guy in a relationship. That's how I rule. So if there's going to be those other things, I'm going to say something if I can't do it. Well, I, I still got to go back to this like new but old thing. Dude, that's really f 
me out. Yeah, that is all this other shit is like a conversation. It's like whatever. You guys like thank you. Okay, no, no. This I only put out a scene literally, it was two days before we broke up. While we were like actually like dating, I never like I didn't have any plans to release any new content, but like things were like that was he's like, I'm gonna go do the girl stuff, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna release this scene then. Like it was towards it was like two days before we broke up. And that really just So the relationship was basically like done at that point. Okay. I didn't think about like releasing anything while we were actually together. They don't respect each other enough. They don't know it, but they don't respect each other enough to like really care about the consciousness they are. They probably are attracted to each other. It's good for their business that they're in love. They probably have good feelings towards each other, but they don't really like think they're soulmates. Like you wouldn't do this to a soulmate. You're telling me that you met the one person that like they write about in fairy tale books and you do this to them? Like that's what I'm saying. I'm saying your soulmate is going to feel like when you're with them, like everything makes sense. It's better. Not in a romantic, like not in a magical way. I mean literally like a <clears throat> like a profound, like this is my partner I'm going to grow old with. You think you're going to grow old with someone you're fighting with this early on? You think you're going to grow old with – like, you know, they're not ready. Yeah, they're immature. They're like – they're just not ready, you know, and it's not it, I can't even judge it. They're young. Uh, they're like babies. Uh, good for them for being so successful. But they're babies. Habibi, give them a moment. Give them a moment to live oh, their lives. That so. changes it then. Exactly. I don't think that changes it. I, well, I was still in it. I was still. I've always uh, Could it still work? Could this still work? No. Well, she asked me to move I in with her. I don't think he'll ever be OK with my past ever. He, he brought it up every single day. Like, I really wish Kay. you didn't do this. That is not true. That was just for the last month. We've had a Like, rocky- imagine if someone every single day is in your ear like, oh, I hate that you did this. Like, that yeah. hurts. It every hurt day or the feelings. last month? Every day. Just, no. This was not every day. What are you talking about? We just a day of near, sometimes twice a day. It no. couldn't have been every day. She's not being honest here because it wouldn't make sense. It's not every day. It's probably the last month. I believe him. Oh, this last month has been rough. Mm-hmm. It has rough. Been. I don't... We have not, we had a great relationship. You'd always say we have a healthy relationship, blah, blah, blah. It's amazing. It was healthy, but it just. It was the last month. Yeah. Or like, okay, something that also was really upsetting towards me is he's Jesus always like, Christ. it's <laughs> different for girls versus guys. Like his body count's higher oh than mine, God. just saying, right? Significantly. But he's like, it's different because it? I'm a guy. It is different though. But is like, different. is it that thank, crazy it different? Thank you. Oh God. Bubbles, man. Bubbles. Do we know how old they are? I think they're in their early 20s. I think they just said they're in their early 20s. Ugh. See, body count, that's another thing. If I dated a person who cared about my body count, that'd be so weird. Like, of course we don't care about body counts. Like, what does it matter to us? You know what I mean? Like, what does it matter? But, like, for some people it matters. And if it matters, then you have to be aware of that when you date that person. For me, it doesn't matter. I don't care what my partner's body count is. He doesn't care what my body count is. It doesn't matter. But for some people, they really care. And that's fair. But that's why you guys should talk about it. Values. Why do you care about body count? Oh, that's interesting. Like, I think it's different for girls and boys in certain bubbles. Okay, so remember, like, what is gender, right? In my bubble, like, what is gender? Like, who cares about gender expectations? We do not adhere to gender expectations in my bubble. I don't give a fuck what your gender is. What I care about is, like, who you are as a person. But in this bubble, they very much care about what boys and girls are supposed to do. And so they have this added pressure that they put on each other. Rip. Rip. For these added pressures they put on each other. You know what I'm saying? Mm. No, his, okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm so sorry. She's I'm not trying to be there. mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I, I'm not trying to be mean either. And I'm not trying to be. She always says, you're misogynistic. I asked. Um. To a point, I do agree with you. But it's like he's straight I do up think about it. Like, are you have a hole. And okay. like. I think gender roles are like inherently um, are gender roles inherently misogynistic and misandrist. Mm. I think gender roles are inherently limiting and gender roles are inherently uh, lacking in introspection unless you are truly naturally inclined by your gender role. A lot of people just aren't. And we're seeing that more and more when people are given the choice, like the real choice, they can or cannot adhere to the gender role. So, um, you know, when I hear like Justin Waller say that if every independent woman was really given the chance to stay at home and have babies, she would. 
I'm like, kind of, but not really. Like, it depends on what part of my life you ask me. Like, if you had asked me that last year, I'd been like, oh, yeah, I would have stayed home and had babies and then I would have gone back to work. But if you ask me now, like, um, I'm not interested in babies as much. I'm more interested in like running my business. So it just depends on when you ask me. And that's the thing is like, whatever I decide to do, I'm committed to it. And that's the problem is like, they couldn't stay committed to this lifestyle choice. And this is a lifestyle choice. Dating somebody on corn is a lifestyle choice. You, you, you know, it makes it different for everybody. And if he's going to adhere to the bubble gender stereotypes and she isn't, then yeah, that's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem, you know? <laughs> that is not true at all. <laughs> yeah. You, you are putting words in my mouth. That is not true That's at all. That is not know. true at all. Uh, that is not true. Babe. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Slip up. Yeah. That is crazy. Oh, wow. Is that true or not? Because I can't tell right now. What? what? Did you actually say that? <laughs> no, I didn't. Crazy. No, I did no, not. No, he does no. say he. She okay. takes it that way. She like says, "Oh, so you're saying this?" And then goes crazy on uh, okay, me. Okay, okay. No, like, and, and then she starts yelling like... me, "I resent you!" And I'm like, <laughs> Yo, "Are you guys fighting? Are you guys throwing Dude, hands?" She's yelled at me. The... the other day, she yelled. Dude, at me. Maybe you just need to punch her one time. And she's punched me. <laughs> Why are you from? I'm home? kidding. I'm kidding. She's you I'm totally me. kidding. Like I couldn't get the doubling back on that. I know it's. Yeah, obviously they're not, like, ready to be someone's wife or husband. Like, being someone's partner is a big deal. It, I'm glad they broke up. They weren't ready. Oh, but it's new? Like, that shit really is just... I could, I'm trying to imagine myself in a situation. I'd be like, oh, dude, I could never do that. Because everyone else just goes, this is brand new. You're well, a would you date a girl that did anyway? I could, I could, but it, it'd be... Oh, man, it'd be difficult. Like, it would have to be like, it's done. Mm, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. The, the, I don't think you could. No, wow. I don't think you could because I think you're exactly like Nick. You would get tagged and shit. they would comment. They would message you. And I think it would get to you just like how it got to Nick. I think th what <sighs> does get to me and I'm going to be honest is like, yeah, that shit does bother me. <sighs> it's just like, dude, I feel like you're a lot like I am. Like you want to have that one on one with the girl. Just you two. Nothing else. I, I, we, that's it. So it's very hard. Like and we had a, I'm going to we had a very loving relationship. We were very sweet to each other she always had my back I always had hers we were there for everything um when you have that and then there's some of that outside noise I think you know your your camera guy said it to me once or Nate Nate he was like man bro you're just looking at the internet too much just yeah I should have just you know it was all new to me I've never dated a girl in this situation mm -hmm. ever it's very it, it is hard okay, I will admit that you know I had some wrongs but it is interesting tough, though because like It'd be different if she just started randomly doing it and then you had to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I know, I know what I signed up like for. I know what I signed up for. after she was like 100% mm -hmm. on it. Like 100% and, and you know what? Even I wish I, I, I would love if I, went, <clears throat> if I went back like two weeks. Like look, when I look back at our fights, I'm like, I wish I found out. Like I, I, I know I could get over it. I know I know I could. She doesn't think I could. But it just got to the point where like if we're both going to resent each other. I think he's more in love with her than she is in love with him. I think, I think she doesn't seem as in love with him. Do you guys, what do you guys think? I don't think she seems as in love with him. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, I think he's more in love with her than he, she is with him. I do believe him. I bet he could work on it. I bet him and I could do calls. To, let's go, buddy. I don't even know who you are, but Nick, I'm your new best friend. Call me. But like, yeah, I think he could get over it. I think he could do it. I don't think... I don't think she loves him the way he loves her. I'm not getting the vibe from her. She seems hurt, and I think she was in love, but she's not talking about him or the relationship the way he's talking about it. I think he probably fell a little bit harder for her. Yeah, I feel for him. Brother, I don't want. We didn't want to go out that way. Yeah, I get it. And it, it just. And then you know when we split, what what made you hit me up to to move in with you? Like why? why? Like, yeah, because this is like, you're, I feel this like is we're, new. We're um, so I had been you, looking at houses for a while and I found like a beautiful one. Like I'm in love with it. It's my dream house, but it has five bedrooms and it's just me and my assistant. So I was like, I, we have to have someone move in. And I asked, someone. I asked around, I asked you a few other people, but I know. She texted me like five times, was calling me about, are you going to move in or you're not? Are you going to move in or you're not? Like. <laughs> Like, well, I'll, I'll say true? pop up a text. That man. is true, but it's because it's <laughs> pop up a text. <laughs> Bro, no. like she was like on me, 
And I was Wait, like, dude, dude, you guys are like breaking up at the same time, being like, let's move in. Yeah, and I'm like, the house I'm like, is James. so big though. He's gonna be on like a different floor across the house. I wonder is she just very comfortable with him, or is she very detached from it? That seems like a weird move. That seems like a weird move. I can't get a read on her. I can't read her very well. I feel like he's being very transparent. I'm not understanding her very well. Do you guys get a read on her? We won't cross paths. <laughs> There's one kitchen. There aren't that many bathrooms. One back. It's not. It's not that big. Um, well, how's that gonna work? Like I told you... James. I told James. I'm like, bro, we need to find another house. We did a showing. It's in the video that just dropped. And I get the news that I cannot be on a fucking lease, bro. I can't be on a lease. This was a problem I had two years ago. Mm. I got sued in silver court for throwing an Airbnb party, and it's oh. me up. And <laughs> now we're. So how is it gonna work? Cause like what? It, I'm like, also like friends with his whole like his two. Group. It's not like we're all strangers or anything. Like the ooh, it's gonna be really weird. Yeah, I don't really hang out with exes, so they're my friends too. I would consider. Yeah. So, and I guess we're just. So friends. wait, you're gonna live in the same house together? <laughs> Roommates. That's fucking insane. <laughs> it's yeah. I, don't I could not do this. I. I could not do this. I've tried to do similar things. I'm not this person. I realized it even like one or two dates. Like I'm like, nope. Like I don't need to see those people anymore. Like, mm -mm. Mm, I could not do this. I'm scared. So wait, wait. I, I think it's only gonna. Are you? Gonna, James said it's gonna last a month. Are you gonna keep? Are you like? What's your plans with content? Are you gonna go back to or sex? What's your? What happens when one of them hears the other person having sex with somebody else, bros? Um, no. I'm just gonna. Definitely ramp up my only fans, like produce more content. Oh, great. He's going to hear her in the other room. Uh, we'll see where it goes. What does that mean? We'll see where it goes. Is there going to be boy girl stuff? Uh, no. That's the question. I, yeah. Would you go back to that? Oh, my God. No. I'm, I'm out if that happens. I'm out. Okay. That's what I'm saying. They're not thinking this through. Of course, she's going to. Of course, she's going to do work from home. Of course, she's going to. Of course. Like, hello, this is not going to work. No. Auntie Brittany says no. Mama Simon says no. And for clarification of the differences, because this is important, Mama Simon is warm and slow and Lex Friedman with you. And Auntie Brittany is just going to tell you, no, absolutely not. But Mama Simon is like, sure, maybe this will work, but probably not. I try really hard to be like kind and like meet you where you're at. But no, no Lex Friedman energy tonight. No Mama Simon. Pure Auntie Brittany. Do not do this. Abort mission. Kill it like a fetus that's three weeks old. Let's go. You? No, I don't know. What do you mean? What do you, you don't know? You don't know. No, I don't know. This came out six days ago. Abort mission. Oh. You don't know? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. What about, like, no. She, oh, I'm sorry. You, you always said you would never go back. Like, no, like, I'm not going to. No, she I'm would never go to. back if she's in a relationship with you. But she's single now. So she can do whatever she wants. That's the thing. People got to understand, single Britney is not the same as in a relationship, Britney. In a relationship, I have very different rules for myself than if I'm single. If I'm single, I could, who knows what single Britney would do. But married Britney, like, no, there's like, I can't, no. But like single Britney, no, do not hold her to that standard, right? Like in a relationship is different than single. You don't think, you don't think releasing an old tape is going back? It was already the person I filmed with it, like they were already selling and everything. Like you could find it on the internet. Got yeah, it. how dare they not want her to make money? It's just okay. that I had never pushed it out on mine. So, so this is literally already out there somewhere. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's oh, not like this has never that? seen the face of the how internet. Do, I don't know. This all person's this he's already like so they don't talk. They do not talk. Oh my god. Put it and stuff. Like you could probably find it if you wanted to, but I had just never released. But what still, it's it. still marketing is like this is new and. Yeah, because no everyone's going to see it. I never yeah. before it is seen. new. Like it, she should brand it as never before seen. It's never before seen on my life. Yeah, she does seem super immature. Maybe she just likes the drama. I think she she likes the attention and the drama. And it sounds like he was super, obviously, immature in the past. He has a record, hello, of like throwing an Airbnb party, sir. So it sounds like they're very much not ready to be someone's spouse. But she does sound less in love than he does, um, which is too bad. But, like, it is what it is. Someone has to be that category of girl or boy. Somebody's always, like, less, like, in love, not in a relationship, but um, in a relationship that's going to break up. Like, somebody leaves the relationship before the other person. I feel like she must have checked out before he did, probably, because she saw it coming. But ultimately, like, she knew she wasn't going to stop her industry, and she doesn't believe he'll change. And she also probably doesn't care if he does. Because, like, she probably has an idea for herself. She's probably going to become, like, super focused on money and career, which is great. Do it. But also, like, let him go, right? 
Like she obviously it's not a vibe for her. He sounds a little bit more suburb boy to me and she sounds more business minded and I think she should go and get that bag and I think he should end up with somebody who's a little bit more on his level. Yeah, but it's I didn't just film it. I Shout see. out. Fuck. That's tough. So why don't you why don't you try to do like I, I guess if you're never if you're not gonna go back to that, obviously like you'd ramp up whatever other content, but like there's so much other shit I just feel like I've seen you on Twitch. Like, I feel like you're That's successful That's, like, my there. other main thing. And I do make, like, decent money yeah. on Twitch. Like, it, like, but... I feel like you haven't even given a shot of, like, all these things. You, you could, you're well, capable we're in the, of so I'm much. I'm in the middle of moving and everything, so I haven't had time. Moving's well, going to last, like, two weeks. Okay, well, then I'm getting back into it. But I'm just saying, like, mm. I like running and only... It's like, it's fun. Like, I love, like, posting on it and stuff. And, like, you didn't even like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's, like, me saying, like, oh, I really hate the gym like you do hate the gym she's no, just not very smart yes, can i be real with you she's smart but she's not very like self-aware or she doesn't have the knowledge there's something about the way she talks that she's not grasping the ideas very clearly like she doesn't she's not grasping the ideas i don't think she's dumb but i don't think she's smart but i don't think she's introspective but i don't think she's un like absolutely not self-aware there's something about the way she talks that tells me like she's not grasping it though She's not like getting it. Dude, what? No, but that's like giving oh, you shit. I, I, what I the hell? No, no. I tried like to get you to go to the gym and you bad. freaked out at me and said, stop asking me to go. I there. go through phases. Like I'll go hard in the gym and then I'll take a break. I haven't been going to the gym recently, but like, I'm just saying that's like me like shit on you all the time. Like, or like me being like, it's but, so stupid. You do YouTube. Like YouTube's so stupid. Like but, if I came at you for that, okay, that's basically okay. what it was. Like, every day. That's fair. I, yeah, kind of. Yeah. You know, maybe don't realize it, but you are like always coming at me still like uh -uh. it's about little, yes it is and then when i go out and shoot or anything you're like come home right now come home you're on me on me when you're doing your thing that was just me being a loving girlfriend wanting like my boyfriend. <laughs> the toxicity in the city in the city this is just toxic and dysfunctional they're not ready to be mature enough to handle a relationship she's um definitely less ready than he is i think but he's less ready than an actual ready person and i do think like this is um yeah, it's just like super toxic and dysfunctional. And it is what it, too many games, too many pointing fingers, too much Spider Man meme. And come home. That's all. But it you was. do it only when I'm out filming. It wasn't, I never thought that you were like cheating or doing anything. It was literally just me being like, but he you, also traveled all the time. Like, we yeah. like basically sometimes we even have a long distance relationship. <laughs> like, he would only be home like a week out of the month. So it's like, I wanted to spend as much time as I could with you. Yeah, they're just like, their careers yeah, but, aren't compatible. Everything's not, they're not teammates they're both like i don't know how these people date like i couldn't yeah like this is this isn't it this isn't it guys this isn't your soulmate move on i think you know that you were like pretty hard on some shit with, like i believe i him. would go to michigan the and roll. <laughs> bro and and, and yeah she eye rolls too much i'm on his team team nick he knows that my team knows like just kidding team both of them but team nick i was so caring and i never want her to feel like not comfortable or, or not safe with anything that's happening so like it would affect like the videos a lot and like but you were always on me about everything i apologize no no so so is it just because you just want to make more money like what is what the reason mean? like the reason to like continue down that road more like you go harder on whatever and is it just because like i guess what i'm asking is for you guys to work at some point you guys were both making compromises and it was kind of like you were doing less of the things that were making you money. But they weren't making compromises as a team. They were making compromises like competitors. They were like making com compromises like they were facing each other in battle. But they weren't making compromises as a team. They weren't actually like, hey, what? how do we do something to make the team win? Like with my husband and I, it's very much like, what do we do to make us win today? Like, it's about us winning today. So he'll ask, like, do you need me to do anything today for you? And I'll be like, do you need me to do anything today for you? No? Okay, what do we need to do for me to do my work day today, to do your day today? Like, what do we need to do today? So then, we, so first we check in, like, what do we need to do? So today we did all our grocery shopping today. We went to the grocery store. We stocked up on the house. We hadn't been for a while. We got all the essentials, you know. We did all that stuff. And then I said, this is what I need to do for work. This is what I need to do in two days for work. This is what I need to prepare today for this. Like we went over a game plan, but it's not about, but again, we decided to do life together. So like, this is different. They're dating. They haven't decided to do life together. So of course they're going to break up. 
because they couldn't manage to get past the dating stage into we're doing life together stage, which is just commitment. They're not ready to commit. Because, you you know, you're having conversations like, okay, I'll stop doing this, stop doing that. Mm -hmm. And then he's obviously, you know, I, I don't know what you're really necessarily giving up because it's just like he's not filming, flirting with girls. I, I right? So, I, I mean, the whole, that was the whole thing that made me popular was over and over again, the lover boy and yeah. there'd be some situation I was in. And people love to see just because it's not like I'm some super, super smooth dude. I'm like funny and awkward. And it's like, yeah, like, what the f is he even but saying? But I feel like people love to see you guys together, too. Yeah. Like early on, like I, those are the, some of the first videos I saw like that popped the most. It's tough because like we both talked about this. It's like, it's fun. It's fun to film together. We had a great time. We did some like, it was, it was a <clears throat> hold on here, buddies, boys. So this is Nick's page. I moved in with my ex. Okay. So obviously they're using each other for clickbait. Why we broke up. Okay. Oh, look, it's me. <laughs> okay. The truth. Okay, that's what we're watching right now. Shoots a shot with Sarah. Mommy and daddy. Oh, talk. today's the day. Better late than never. What never late. Okay, hold on. Pussy returns. Zerka. Ew, what? What is this? The most toxic. Oh, my God. Whoever does the. Oh, my God. With your card. Hey. I just filled it. That's right. I was busy. Oh, I'm how do I see his Riz game? The reason Nick and whatever. Oh, look, Myron covering it. Gross. Okay. Is this like the most toxic side of YouTube? Is this like Zerka YouTube too? God bless him. But like, what a toxic bro, dude. I don't get it. What does Nick do? I'm so confused. What does he do? Who is he? All right, guys. We're back. I don't. Oh, he's not very popular. Okay. Not even 400,000 subscribers, which is great. Good for you. But, like, he's not, like, fame. I thought he would be, like, I don't know, bigger for some reason. What is this? Vlogs? I ask Kai Brie to prom. Okay, so he does, like, vloggy, like, David E. dobrik -y stuff? Okay, we're just gonna address this. She let me hit on other video. girls. I have a mustache. <laughs> oh, why are you telling me they went to the club and they used the eyebrow? Just drove chasing his uh, location for an hour and a half. He would stop at different places. You no, know, I really want to surprise you. You came out all the Oh, they're such babies. These people this are so did young. So much for me. Why are you upset? What's wrong? No, wait, 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 wait. We stayed there tonight. This isn't <laughs> Yo, she was yeah. love that. What a kiss? No, oh, the fake one, the fake one, like the little or thumb, the thumb. One. Or a real one. Yes, but I hate it. It's like the legend is back and but also I might have to kill a guy. We're both nervous. We just All right, here's put that in. Okay. I like your tattoos. Thank you. Remember some sort of thing like uh, that? maybe Instagram. Instagram. Okay, I don't usually give out my Instagram. It's like a second date kind of thing. Like I don't I just, know. Well, okay, my, my number. My number. Okay, my let's, number. yeah, okay. Yes, we'll get we'll the number. It's, okay. it's, it's better. It's better. That's what I was thinking too, to be honest. It's a pleasure to me. Like, that's just like. Do you want to do Instagram? I'm too old. Okay. Fun adventure. Okay, so we're watching children, which is very fine. It's lovely. Love to watch young people live their life, doing young people content. This is making it all make more sense. Like, they're so young and they're so cute. Okay, got it. No. Whatever going, whatever, doing whatever. But this is like they're probably their first like real love. Like this feels like his first real love. At some breakup. point, like you don't want to just be on camera together. You want to have like a, a real relationship. Yeah. So it was like every once in a while, it'd be fun to do something and like do that. And she would, you know, she loved to support mm -hmm. me and it, it was fun. But uh, I don't want my whole thing to be about. Yeah, I get it. I understand. That. So I have a question then. Like, obviously, I'm not going to be like, this is never going to work, whatever. I think that's silly. That's not how life works. It's never going to work. Don't take offense to this question, but I have to ask. It's never going to work. This question. What do you think? What kind of guy could you date that was like you think would be completely okay? It feels like I, if, if you're thinking like, oh, I wouldn't be okay with it. You're looking at me like that. So the only other guy then would be like a guy who's in pornography. Yeah. My husband doesn't do pornography for the record. Thank you for asking. He just doesn't care if I'm on OnlyFans. But then if she wants to do boy girl stuff, like it would have to be some guy who's like very sex positive. Yeah, which I would never do. He wouldn't have to be in the industry though. Yeah, that's why I He'd have to be a progressive. Like he would have to be progressively minded. Even if he like he would have to be like philosophy wise progressive, sex positive, you know? Like he would just he would just have to be like there are a lot of guys who wouldn't care. I don't have any hope for <laughs> oh, I'm actually just say gonna that. stay single. Stay single. <laughs> don't say that. Um it, no, yeah, that is really scary because I think the 
Yeah, it usually is guys that don't settle, girl. Stay, don't settle. Uh, are in themselves, or I don't know because there are a lot of people that I think would date me, but I just always think it's gonna be a thing where eventually they're like, okay, I don't. Mm think I don't like this like I was talking to um Lena who's like my she's yeah. my old you thought she was gonna say a guy's name there huh no no for a second <laughs> he's like what the I did I did uh she me, she I texted really me the other day she was like me and Adam are arguing whether or not you and Nick broke up and I was like no like we did break up um it's just been tough like because he like the whole point of things getting to him and she answered she's like yeah I'm so sorry like that happens to like every girl in and like the guys are always chill with it in the beginning and then uh they always like end up being like kind of it's tough not controlling but like not it kind of gets that which i don't blame him like i don't blame him at all wait why would she need to be you can be monogamous and be a porn star um i would just call it like um monogamy to me can allow like work related activity being more like because if you're only having sex on camera then it's definitely work. Like porn stars will tell you it doesn't even feel like you're having sex. It just feels like you're working. So I don't think they need to be monogamous. Um, and she definitely wouldn't be poly. Guys, poly means many loves. Poly means like you're building a life with someone or you're dating short term or like you're like you're in a relationship. So you don't want to do that in porn. You don't want to be dating your coworkers. Like that's not what you want to be doing. You want to be only having sex on camera because of your coworkers and then you want to go home. Like... I don't know about you, but especially doing girl on girl stuff like, you know, guys always talk about how they're so good at having sex without feelings. Do you think all these girls who are basically straight care that they're eating box for a video? Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. They don't care. So like they're just going to go home and want to be with their partner. So I think they can be monogamous and be porn stars as long as um, there's like an understanding um, so I don't think that, but also like she does OF, which is like so different. And that means she can pick and choose who it's with. You know what I mean? Um, ah, uh, if you have sex with anyone other than me, I'm not going to excuse it as business, but I know the rhetoric. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's definitely like a form of monogamy, right? Um, cause like in some monogamy relationships, like you're not even allowed to look at porn. Like, do you look at porn? Because my brother's relationship, like, porn is considered cheating. So they can't even look at porn. Like, they're not supposed to. If they do, it's, like, a, a less degree. If Like, it's cheating, but a lesser degree. Um, but, like, they're not even allowed to look at porn. They consider it cheating in a relationship. Masturbation. They consider masturbation cheating in a relationship. They say, I'm monogamous, so why am I masturbating? And I'm like, bro. You know what I mean? Um, oh, I believe that you can have sex without feelings. I just can't tolerate the public perception and I'm not willing to. That's fine. Like, that's fine. Obviously, it's like a, a vibe, right? Like, you have to agree on that. So obviously, like, she needs to find a guy who doesn't see it as, like, threatening to the relationship and slash he's pro-sex work. Like, you just got to find someone who's actually pro-sex work and isn't a misogynist, which is difficult, because a lot of these allegedly pro-sex work people are misogynists. So she needs to find a pro-sex work guy who isn't a misogynist. Good luck. I really don't. Like, I think that would get to me, too. Like, if I had to be tagged and stuff and, like, like my comments are filled with it, whatever. Um, I just think that it started to feel like I was the bad person. Like, it was mm. like I was the one They are. That They're was putting like the onus on her. Look at Fresh and Fit's comment. They're putting the responsibility on her, which is really shitty. I appreciate Bradley reminding Nick that he signed up for this, but I do think it's really shitty that they're putting the responsibility on her. It is going to fall on her. You're the one who's doing it. You're the one who needs to stop. And I think that's messed up. At when it was other people like writing comments and stuff, like yeah. I wasn't doing anything. I was a, a perfect girlfriend, like loyal. You don't think you're doing anything more that would create more like <laughs> drama? Like, for the audience to be like, well, she's doing this now. I really you. didn't do anything during our relationship. I mean, maybe, like, the E-date stuff people, like, thought was crazy. I don't like know. Like, neon and whatever. That yeah. was whatever, though. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying. Like, just, I'm really... What do they think about wet dreams? Neutral. I'm curious, genuinely. Like, so, you, say you move apart at some point, let's say it doesn't work... How, like, who are you, who in your mind are you, like, what kind of guy are you finding that you think, you think it's going to be, like, you just have to get completely out of it at some I point? I would think, I think. So you, like, what really I would. Are they talking about her doing boy-girl stuff or her doing solo stuff? 
Because if it's just solo stuff, you can find lots of people. If it's boy-girl stuff, that's less so. Like even my husband wouldn't want me to do boy-girl stuff or girl-girl stuff. But he doesn't care if I do solo stuff. So like, and I've always done solo stuff, so it doesn't matter. But um, that was important to me, right? So I'm curious if they're talking about her doing solo stuff or just boy girl stuff or girl girl stuff and if she wants to do those things that she needs to marry like a moses like trisha trisha and moses are married and moses i'm pretty sure she was with moses when she did girl on girl stuff and and she re-releases boy girl stuff you just need to find a moses moses you know who i didn't even like in the beginning i very much like him and trisha now to like I should update my stance on Moses but I actually really like their relationship and I'm glad Moses turned out to be okay because like I was really worried for Trisha at first but like Trisha does OnlyFans stuff and she re-releases her boy girl stuff and Moses doesn't have a problem with it she needs to find a Moses what you have to do is do OnlyFans for as long as I could and then when I've had enough of LA move somewhere else and Great. just like meet someone organically is there ever a time and have be like far removed from i guess is there is there ever a time that you would give up all this okay you ask that all the time but it's like i'm yeah. still so young what a weird question give up what like give up what like just say no i always say no i want to be 85 years old and on of mm -hmm. The money I made isn't going to last me in the next, like, 80 years. Exactly. I still have to make money. There's other ways to make money, but we've talked about that. Okay. No, but I, I'm just curious because, like, you know. And also, another thing is I have fans, too. Like, I care about my fans, and, like, my fans want to see content, and, like, I like making my fans happy. Like, I, just how you like making your fans happy with YouTube. Like, I have fans, too. Like, they're not just like, I just don't, I just it's don't. not just like this thing that I like do for money. Like I do like having like supporters mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I have a discord with people I talk to like all day. Like it's, but you know what? Like, I think you could make a ton of money. Maybe not be money. Oh my God. They're so annoying. Leave her alone. If you don't like it, move the F on. Look at these boys. Look at these boys. Just leave her alone. Jesus. And still be super comfortable and happy. Why can't I like doing it? You could do it. No, so. I'm saying. You Girl, leave her alone, everybody. You still do it. I'm not saying you can't. I'm saying. Team Sky. I'm Team Sky now. We've switched. We're Sky Bree fans now. We've switched. We switched switching sides. And at some point, like, there, if you want, like, a solid, solid relationship, unless it's with someone in that industry, mm -hmm. and I don't even know how you feel about that personally, but, like, like you said, you even know that every guy's going to come to that conclusion. Like, uh, no, maybe. No, not every guy. I'm kind of uncomfortable with this. Yeah. <clears throat> I think to your point, you are entertaining enough as just a person on camera mm -hmm. that you could still be successful. And it's maybe, maybe it's not $2 million a month. Maybe it's 500,000, <clears> 200,000, whatever. Like mm -hmm. it, that's still sustainable, good money. It's yeah. great money. And like, yeah, I guess for me, the question is like, when is it enough? Because at some point, like you're never, you're not going to be able to take back all the stuff, which I know that's part of your reason why kind of going back into it or like, maybe diving more head first into like doing more of that content because you can't take it back because you've already there people labeled you as this yeah right but at some point like you can still make good money outside of it and like if you I'm know so that and you know that like if you say you did this for five more years and you kind of did more and more mm. you're either you're setting yourself up even more for some guy in the future to be like ah it's too much right yeah. you know what i'm saying i'm over yeah. personally it. in my defense of all like you know how she feels about it getting to me you know, you can't, I can't go change her. You can never change anyone. You gotta let them do what they want to do. But personally, like I know her, this is to me, I will, I, I do admit that she is probably the most incredible woman, girl I've ever met in my life. I could see her. I could see being forever. I, I could have, nope. um, but it's absolutely not. He doesn't love her for who she is. He loves her for who she wants to, he wants her to be. No. So, okay, she's checked out of the relationship. Obviously, that's why he seems more in love with her because he is more in love with her right now. But he's not even in love with her. He's in love with who she he wants her to be. He's not in love with her. He's in love with the version of her that lives in his head that isn't a sex worker. And that's that's just humans, man. That's humans, man. Oh, so annoying, bro. 
The crazy part is even if she was uh, she quit, felt regret, men love when women regret things for some reason. They really do. And quit, men would still call her a whore for not having done it in the first place or for having done it in the first place. Why stop for them? Well, even in, more than that, right? Like she doesn't have to be anti-sex work. She can love it until she's 90. She's allowed to like this industry. You know what I mean? Why do they decide to interview them together? Well, because they're still making content together. They live together. They're boosting. They, they're, they're known together. So they interviewed them together because they're doing, they're all friends. They all know each other. You know, they're all using each other for views, obviously. Um, so it's all, it's all collapse. It's just like, imagine like um, Bradley's friends with them. They're all friends with each other. Like, it's just an orbit thing. Like, it's just like a, not friends, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, like, obviously leave her alone. It's like, like I can't. I see what you're saying. She could do so so many things. She's brilliant. She's amazing. And but I like how they're like, you can do Twitch. Um, Twitch is like light sex work. What's the difference? Like, what's the difference? Like, there is a difference, but not for the reason they're saying. Ultimately, men will still think she's slutty for being on OnlyFans. Like, Twitch streamers just chatting girls with their boobs out and stuff. Like, obviously, they're there for the male gaze. Like, I don't have a problem with it, obviously. But it's the same thing. It's just not porn. And I just feel like it's distant. I don't know. I feel like that's all the same to me. I feel like women who do that just don't want to say they're sex workers. But like, what are you? What are you really? Let's be real, booby streamers. Are you not sex workers? It's fine. You don't you don't have to be like, again, you can just be booby streamers. And I'm, I'm OK with that, too. But I feel like, come on, it's, it's like diet sex work. OK, I don't know. I, I don't think you have to. Because my question is, like, that, if you but. keep doing it more and more and then you find someone that you're like, hey, this is the guy, like some guy, let's say it's him or something. He's not going to ask her to stop or he's not going to care. If it's the right guy, she she won't have to stop. My husband was never going to be a man who would tell me to get off OF. I wouldn't have married him. If a, if a like my I met my soulmate. I met the man of my dreams, the literal man of my dreams, because he literally did not have the requirement that I would get off OF. Hello, the man of my dreams would not have me get off OF. Do you do you understand? Some other guy, like whatever. And you know that it's going to get to that point where he's like, oh, I can't deal with this because you keep doing it. Like my point is that the stuff doesn't just go away. It's kind of just always there. Right. It's not right? that it's not for me. And for things, I don't think it's not even that you can't deal with it. Almost. It's like, I believe you can do more. Well, yeah, it's just twofold. It's twofold because I think about it and you're going to hear all the, you know, all the red pill commentary stuff is like, you can't, it's like your, your, your idea is I'm going to make as much money as I can and then find someone who is okay with it. That's, that's pretty hard. That's, that's going to be a harder task is that than her just plan? finding someone who's like, if you're kind of like slowly getting out of it and moving on to other things, because mm -hmm. the guy that you find, let's say now it's like three more See, years. She's doing it now. She's saying at home, you make me feel bad for doing my job. And he's like, no, I don't. Or maybe I do, but this is what she means. I, I fucking, doesn't this get annoying just hearing this all the fucking time? Hey, did you ever think if you did something else? You know what I mean? And again, if they're like, I get it. They're in, under scrutiny. It's like part of the content, blah, blah, blah. Like I'm going to have very strong boundaries if I ever get more popular and people want to like start questioning me. Like if you do it for learning purposes, I'm here for it. But if you do it for this bullshit, your values being projected onto me, absolutely not. If you want to, like, try to preach to somebody, you can go preach to a fucking nun. Like, do not preach to me, bro. Years of more of that stuff. It's like more, more, more. At some point, it's just like. She might be a lesbian. We don't know what her journey is going to be. For any guy, he's going to be like, yo, what the. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you, you're you not just. Like, I think you're good at conversation. You're good at speaking. You're good at just being on camera. Like, none of this. Mm -hmm. And it's like, just do more of that and take less just money. Do more of that. Bradley, shut up. Because at some point, right? It's like. <laughs> right. How much do you need? I know you know you have that. Oh, I don't make money until eighty, whatever. Like you know, but you could still make great money in this space without doing that. Mm, and I'm not trying to convince yeah. you to stop. I'm just saying, in in your thinking of, I'm gonna do a bunch more and go harder, and then find the guy. Like who's to say it just doesn't happen? And now you're just older and you're going in that cycle with a different guy. Right. Yeah. And to me, I think about that. And I'm oh like, that's my god, they won't shut up. They just want to hear themselves talk. Gary, to me, like if I was you. Mm -hmm. You know, who yeah. cares? Stay single, be rich, girl. Get a cat. <sighs> I don't know. It sounds like you guys are just trying to convince me to stop. No, 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 no. Like, oh, oh, oh. OK, my girl back in the game, my girl back. OK, I lied. I, I was just like I was just dealing with. OK, I take back what I said earlier. She in the game. She knows what's you up. You can do whatever you want. Like, I can't. Oh, 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 I fucking. You know, I'm just I'm just 
talking about the things you're saying, like your mm -hmm. idea of what you would do. Mm -hmm. Cause I think you're, I think you're <laughs> entertaining. Like you can Thank be entertaining you. outside of all the shit that just, I think it's probably honestly the red pill comments that I, cause I get so much and they like overpower like other stuff. Yeah. So it's like, like you're only ever just going to be, I'm like, okay, like that's not I'll just true. keep running my only that's hands fun. then. Oh, like, you can't listen to those idiots. That's though. not true at all. I don't know, but I, it's not like only fans chore to me though i love like i like making the content it's fun yeah because I, I, I like i feel the most confident when i get to like be oh, so okay. it's like i don't know it's like she's writing fun. the high she's writing that's why she's probably really good at it because she writes the high of being sexy not everyone does that i definitely like everyone has a different relationship with it but that's probably why she's really good at it. Because if you can ride the high of feeling sexy, you're going to sell more. You're going to do more. And she's got to do it while she feels in it, girl. Do it, do it, girl. Yeah, it's your thing. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just yeah. saying it's like it's your choice. You know, but but you're going to run into that issue again. That's why she was saying he feels misogynistic. Because, like, that's what this is. Men will think less of you, so don't do it. Misogyny. Oop, I lost my – oops, I pooped out. Hold on. Are you guys here? Hello? My OBS – my OBS cut, it cut. Bum 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 bum. It bum. The OBS cut, it cut out. It cut out in my back. 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 Hello. Hi. I'm back. Yes. Yes. I'm back. Hello. Yes. I'm back. Yes. I am. Okay. No. Yes. In my back. Oh no. Stream crashed. Oh no. OBS giving me lots of red flags. Oh no. OBS reconnection successful. Am I back? Crash or is it me? Am I back? Am I back? Am I back? Back? Okay. Okay, I'm back. Okay, good. Hello. Hello. Okay, sorry. So, like I was saying, in case you guys didn't hear me, this is why she said he was feeling misogynistic to her because they're saying, hey, men might not like this and might think less of you for doing it. So, to please men, don't do it. And she's like, that feels misogynistic. It is misogynistic. It is literally bullshit for her to have to change her whole way of living, everything she's doing to adhere to men's approval. Don't do it, girl. It's a trap. Maybe with some guy was like, uh, yeah, now it's more, yeah. you know, I also don't think I would date anyone in social media. You think Lesson you learned. Oh, damn. I love having an offline husband. It's great. <laughs> it's a good lesson, I guess. <laughs> to save him, honestly. Yeah, I feel it is kind of nice. Yeah. I feel so one thing I've always said about, like, when I got into porn, I never wanted it to affect the people around me and I'm really upset that he was affected by it. And eh, it does though. It does affect our family and friends. I'm sure if my parents listen to my show, they'd be pretty sad sometimes at the way I talk about how the religious should like not exist in a hundred years. My bad. I love you guys so much, but man, religion just brings so much harm to the world. I'm sorry. And it like weighed on me heavily. Like I felt so bad that he was like being like getting receiving like the mean comments like making fun of him for even dating me like that was like weighed on me really heavy too like i i, I felt bad like mm. i genuinely felt so bad because i don't think he deserves that he was just with me because he loved me like yeah and in the beginning like you were getting that but you were good with it and it just wear it on you I'm, i mean i'm just gonna be real like i think I, I was never like big on twitter i'm still not so nothing that's my lowest platform I think I, I started Twitter. like, yeah, I started posting on there more and like they do okay. And then all of a sudden I started getting tagged on there and that's where like, that's where the, and I started seeing it and really, I, I'm going to be honest, like that did head up a bit, but I, looking back as before that, I never took anything out on her. And I, I, I feel so bad that that, you know, some nights ate at me. I really do feel bad. and I'm sorry. Okay. I really am sorry. So you guys are going to like live together though now. Which is interesting. Whoa, yeah. I'm not going to show you his Twitter in case anything is linked. But it says he has 2,500 followers on tic on Twitter. Yeah, he has like nobody on there. That's interesting. He doesn't have very many followers. 
Um, his biggest platform, I guess, is YouTube. Maybe it's TikTok. I don't know. Or is it Instagram? Hold on. His Instagram is his main link on... Uh, why isn't it clicking? Why isn't it going? Hello? Hi, are you broken? Oh. I think his IG is done wrong. I think he did it wrong. Because it takes me back to his Twitter. The fuck? It's very yeah. weird to me. How long do we think it's going to last? I think it's going to last two months. Two months? I think he's, you got some, you'll stick it out a little they bit. You think two months? Uh, yeah. I'm very like. I know. I like, think the second um, that he, I like see a girl in his video, I'm going to be like, get the f*** out. <laughs> like, <laughs> we shouldn't watch today's video. Are, are you serious? No, I mean like. It's What's in it? Nothing. We'll talk about oh it after. Oh my God. What's in it? Nothing. What do you well, mean we, we dress the break? We, we dress the breakup. Mm. Okay. And we go out for James's birthday. That's annoying. <laughs> That's annoying. I just find it funny. You couldn't so even wait like a week. What? Imagine if I went out and Hold on a fucking... second. You're releasing something. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what. Oh, you this didn't even why. wait a week. Come oh, on. This is, but here's my you, thing. You, he you, went no, in oh. person and did something with someone and talked listen, to them. I had listen, someone two years ago and listen, just ruined it up. Listen, you drop. I, we don't even announce that we're this broken is, up. I never go to the, I never go to the internet. You drop. You're the one who drops. We broke up. It goes viral on TikTok. <laughs> Two days later, announce on your Twitter you're I dropping a boy think it girl was scene. Get clipped. I was just on TikTok live. So I was like, F it. I'm going to go do my thing. You didn't even wait a week that you like actually went out and like pursued a girl, like talked to her in person. Like, I'm. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. I agree with him. It's not that serious. But also, like, you guys aren't each other's soulmates. So it doesn't matter. This is why breakups don't matter. Like, you're not each other's soulmates. You aren't obligated to wait a certain amount of months to get over someone. You're not, look, I, I'm going to be real with you. Unless you feel like this is literally your soulmate, a breakup is something that you genuinely can get over as quickly as the next day to six months to a year. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, truly, truly, all these people be young and dating, you'll get over it. Breakups are part of life. Move on. It's not, it's not us. I don't at the think club he's really it. pursuing girls like that. No, hell You're no. Annoying. I don't, I don't take any girls number. I don't do anything. I don't text. It's not like that. This is. It's like, you know, you're out Who with cares? the guys, it's fun. You're making a... Uh, Even if it was, it doesn't matter. They're not dating. A video. So you would be fine if I, like, like started, like... Doesn't matter. It's over, so... Yeah, doesn't it's matter. over. <laughs> doesn't no, matter. No, no, no. Finish that. Finish that. It doesn't matter. It's over. If like, do I don't know. Like, say I, like, went out and, like, linked with, like, a YouTuber or a streamer or something. Doesn't matter. I don't do anything with you anyone. wouldn't care. I don't do any... Here's the thing. I don't I wouldn't do hurt your feelings. I don't do anything with anyone, anyone popping or anything like that. I don't go... You know, it's dude. still a pretty girl. Wait, what do you like, mean by popping? What do you You're mean? Just, What's the difference between that? She's going popping? out and she wants to like flirt with all these big people out here, make it go super viral, go back to her only. I like, get it. I get it. Yeah, they're just like doing business stuff. This is all clicks. Even okay, but he can't act like he's better than this. We just saw his vlog channel, which is obviously like doing everything for clicks. I again, I just I don't understand social media people. If you guys didn't want the clicks, you just wouldn't talk about it. You obviously don't mind the clicks. Use it for views. Use your breakup for views. But why do people pretend like, see how they're trying to one up each other still? They're still trying to one up each other. Well, you did this, so I'm going to do this. Grow up. No, just kidding. You're in your 20s. Welcome to your 20s, kids. Like, that's all it is. They're young. They're figuring it out. I know I'm generalizing, but this category of people and their young youngness, this is like the journey, right? Like, you did this. I'm going to do this. You did this. It's just being young. It's like literally. It's like, I'm, Immature. I won't do anything. I I'm so careful about like hurting her feelings or anything like that I always have been my stuff is like so innocent and i'm dumb i'm not like it's not it's not like that it's just like like she goes and does all these flirting comments acting touching i'm like that's not me i'm not gonna do that mm, he's like, doing it again it's very, it, they're comparing they're pointing the finger it's very innocent. touching people whatever whatever about. the whatever you, whatever you're implying that you're gonna go do i don't know what you're gonna no go do. i'm just saying like what if i went out and did something like that exact same like what if you saw me like flirting in a video with a guy that what, what if i started doing like it's like i wouldn't care okay now you wouldn't care i wouldn't you think you'd care if you guys were, what, what no if i don't i think i think he's a little they should just okay. get together okay. <laughs> like Adam i'm and not Lena. actually gonna do that that's not something <laughs> i would do but let's just like think about the roles reversed you're Dude, doing what if you just say F and just do it with her that's nah. what I was saying the whole time. I was like, oh, shit. let's just, nah. just quit the YouTube. Let's run I, I up the bag. <laughs> you can't do it. No. Oh, yeah. she wants to do what Adam and Lena do. 
Nah, he can't, he's not made for it, bro. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> I'll never do that. No. Yeah, I get it. This yeah, is I don't judge you. Certain that. boundaries for sure. Yeah. He's not built yeah, for it. That's what you got to find. You got to find him. like a, what? Some people have morals, apparently. No. <laughs> see, morals are individual. We all have morals. It's like, she's, okay. But like, she, no. See, that was silly. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Maybe you just got to find someone to do that with. <laughs> no. No. So, so you wouldn't do I'm that? I'm not. No, I'm never. No. What are you saying in front of me right now? No. What I mean, are you doing? I mean, sorry, 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 sorry. Like, this He's is trying like, to put ideas in my it's head. It's not like we're just no, all no, like, no. feelings are I gone and go shit. Like, and no, no, no. I think you, I think you guys. I think this I will works. say. I, I will say. People works. do not know what her and I have gone through behind behind the scenes. We have not shown. This is like the most we've shown right here. Yeah. And we've gone through a lot that people probably never know that that did like bond us and like. I'm gonna be where, honest. Where I, I don't do. think you guys are really breaking up. Oh, I don't think you guys are. Oh. We sit here and laugh though, but behind closed doors, it's not laughing. It's like serious. Like it's like I've anger. When I saw her, anger. When she <laughs> when she yelled at me the other day, and I'm not saying I'm 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 right for for anything or how we already went over all of it. It just kind of like was like damn. Like she yelled. She literally yelled at me. I resent you. I'm not in love with you anymore. Oh, and. And yeah, that she was- does seem like she checked out before, which is really normal. When couples are on the breakup, gets back together, breakup, one does check out before the other. And that's the problem when the breakup actually happens. Why some people move on in different ways. You know what I mean? It's really messed up. And, do, you know, it, may, it was not maybe true, but well, it, it was a point of like, man, we cannot. Yeah, yeah. you want to burn. You want to yeah, burn it like that. Yeah. yeah. Like this. This girl means a lot to me. And I, truth, I truthfully nice. like. I do love you. And I, I truthfully am in love with you. See, sometimes I feel like she likes to hear it, but she's not in love with him the way he's in love with her. It's different. Look at her face. Like something looks like she likes the attention. I just, and I believe she, yeah, I don't think she's in love with him because truthfully, like he's not her partner. He's not her soulmate. He's not the one. He can't be. He can't be the one. He just can't be the one. He's too, he's, he's not her, her, not her soulmate. So she's right to break up with him. Like they need to stay broken up. This is really important. They cannot get back together. It's not going to work. But it feels like she likes the compliments, but she doesn't love him the same way. She's not exhibiting it the same way. Like she's not, right? She's not, the energy is wrong. He's giving her like, I loved you. And she's giving him like, oh my God, I know. And I'm like, yeah, it's like weird. Um, damn, but it just. I have to pee. Go pee. I'm so- man, this girl heartless, bro. She's fine. I love her independent girl boss, but man, she just doesn't love him. I don't think she loves him. Like, she's not giving, or maybe she's just not mature enough to express it. She's giving him nothing. Look at that. He just said the nicest things about her, and she went, I have to pee. Oh, my heart. Sorry to say that. No, that moment, I'm like about to burst. She's not good with emotions at all. I'm telling you, like, whore, like, we don't, that, like, the biggest thing is like, we. Ah, uh, so she's going to go cry in the bathroom? Ooh, she's not good with emotions, he says. Have a hard time communicating. I'm like, a lot yeah. Of that. Yeah. So maybe she's just really closed off. Interesting. I wonder what her childhood was like. I wonder where she learned how to love. I wonder if her parents ever expressed love or affection. I wonder if she was ever allowed to express love and affection. I feel like he probably has good relationships with his parents. And they probably like let him be vulnerable because he's quite vulnerable. But I wonder if she never had that. I wonder if she never had that. Dude, I get it, man. I get it. I've had so, man, nothing, nothing like this, like stuff to deal with, but it's normal, man. Like dealing yeah. with not working. I, I, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Yep. I don't think, I don't think it's done. I think you guys will still be dating in a year from now. Bradley, like, stop real, it. I don't know, man. I don't think it'll be the same. I'm gonna, it's not going to be the same and they're not going to be together. They're not soulmates, but she needs to go to therapy for her closed offness. And he needs to go to therapy for his like sense of self, maybe, or maybe something, something. <sighs> Shut up, Bradley. But neither of us can let go of things. So it's like the, the compromise that she wants me to, to do. It's like, I, I got it. And then what I want, when I'm not cool with her, like she feels she got to do it. But what is, the, so I want her on this too, but what for, 
and from your perspective, what is the compromise that needs to happen? Or would like, if, if you did everything she wanted you to do, what would that look like? So I think the compromise is, okay, I really want to like bring back the girl. Sh like, by I'm the saying, way, I just want to tell you, that's going to go super viral when she, when you said, I love you. And she said, I have to go pee. I don't know if you want to cut that, that or, or, thing cut or, or not. I don't know. I'm used to, I'm, I'm oh, used to wow. He gave him an option to cut it out. Cause <laughs> I'm when, just like, that's whenever, ringing in my head right whenever now. deep things come up between us that are like very, like very real. Yeah. She can't talk about it. With mm. me. Like, I, I, I think the one did nobody think about therapy. What was her childhood like? I could see that. That's why she seems like almost crazy, like uh, detached to me. Cause I'm getting that too. But then if, if she can never talk about it, that means there's like something deeper going on. Right. One thing I am good at is like, even completely off camera. What? Off camera. Off camera what? The same thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Off camera, off camera, she's not babe. Oh my god. Oh. Yo, you guys are Do you guys do you run away from like emotional shit? I don't purposely run away from it. I'm just really bad at like communicating how I feel <gasps> like Elvin in the chat, super chat. Thank you so much. Long streams. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. He'll ask me like talk like he'll want me to like he'll press me to try and get deep about it's how I feel. Pressing. It's like just <laughs> it hey, feels okay. like it. you're trying to understand. Yeah, I'm trying to yeah. understand. Like I don't want to like yeah, I understand. But for some reason, my brain when it comes to like emotions, I can feel emotions, but it's I can't like I can't think of words to even like describe how mm. I feel when it comes to emotions. She, I'm going to say this. I don't know if it's too personal. She didn't even know, like, when our relationship started, like, she wasn't even a kisser. Like, she never, she said she never, like, really, like, in real life, really kissed someone and meant it. And she didn't, she was never even into kissing me. Like, until then. Yeah, I, I don't. Fair. I don't really even, like, being touched either. I'm I not her the top like kiss, the middle kiss, person. the bottom kiss. I wonder if that's just because of the work that you've done. No. I, I've just, I, I think I've wrong. always been like that. Yeah. Even before. Obviously. Yeah. You ever did that stuff? So. Yeah. You just like. Is that I, I like was a always really scared of intimacy. I didn't like have my first. I had my first kiss and had sex in the same night. Like all at once. Whoa, like I've never like had like the cute like first kiss type thing. I like just was so scared of intimacy or anything like that. So then when I like hmm. turned 18, I got like some type of confidence and I was like, I'm finally going to do it. So here's, here's my, here's, mm. this is interesting. You said that about the being afraid of intimacy and like, just, I don't know, this is maybe me speaking just from my older perspective, mm -hmm. but I wonder if like the reason why deep down it kind of is not working is just because of that same exact reason. Like, and you kind of, people tend to make, oh, I got to do this. Oh, Bradley, shut the fuck up. Oh, Bradley, oh, oh, shut the fuck up. I love him so much. Shut the fuck up. It's not working because they have different values. They're not, it's not working because they have different values. They're good people, but they have different values. <gasps> Sounds like neurodivergent for her. Maybe she is neurodivergent. Oh, maybe she's a neurodivergent queen and she doesn't even know it. That's a great point, actually. But yeah, like Bradley doesn't understand. It's like he wants to see them work out, but the dilemma is like they have different values. They're having a completely different relationship with reality. She is very okay being a sex worker and he's very not okay with it. And like he can change on that, but her not believing it also probably is because like she has no evidence for it. They just spent the last 20 minutes convincing her not to do it. Like she's very reasonable to think that he wouldn't change on it, even though I think he's more than capable. I don't think he's actually going to do it. Hello. And it's somewhat of an avoidance of having to actually mm -hmm. deal with the thing that it's just hard. Maybe doing porn was try to try and learn how to overcome her fear of intimacy. Maybe, maybe it also helped her do it better because like she isn't very emotional, but if she doesn't like to be touched, I'm kind of surprised she did it, which is interesting, but also very much like about overcoming. So yeah, maybe it was like a good challenge. Harder for you to deal with, right? which is just being more intimate. Honestly, and, like, I think you're onto something like that. But sex maybe. isn't always very intimate, especially to women. Like I know people keep saying like women treat sex very intimately. I, I just think like every individual treats it specifically. Because he's the opposite. He's so loving, like so like, 
wants to just Vulnerable. spill his heart out to me no, all no. the time. But Here's, I'm so like, I feel those things, but I can't communicate it. And so maybe that's why, because I wasn't able to give you the reassurance and like the in that like emotional intimacy that you probably needed. Mm. So that's why you got well, extra insecure about seeing me have intimate moments with other people. Wow. That just made sense in my head. Sure. That, that's <laughs> true. I think the biggest thing though, like when we started dating or when we started even talking, mm. she didn't like, she, she liked me, but she didn't even know why. She felt safe around me, comfortable, but she would always push me away until the point of blocking me for like two months. And then she would come back and she kept saying, I don't know why I keep coming back. And to the point, I didn't really understand how to go about it. I'm like, dude, you keep fucking with me. And Does anybody suggest therapy to any of these playing people? Playing with me. And I talked to someone who's a lot more mature than me. And he's like, yo, this girl's like never really been loved before. And he's like, you love her. Why don't you just really actually show that to her? So I did. I was just very vulnerable, very open. And then she started coming around and being more loving and That's following so me to the point where, like, you know, two yeah, it's because like people, if you don't, if you've never really had those sort of like experiences, you don't really know how to give them. Yeah, dude, I I, remember, I still remember the first night she didn't even know, like know how to kiss. She was like, "Teach me." Okay, anything. thank you. Seriously, like, there's we hey, come bro, through that. Why are you putting her on blast right now, bro? And she would never <laughs> before she would never open up to me. I hate men. I rescued her. I gave her her first. I told her it'd be intimate. Let me let me boast. He's like, okay, oh, we get it, sir. Like, okay, like, okay. Talk to me about anything, and it got better and better. But there, there was, there is like this like wall that she still is not <sighs> through, and it's not like her fault or anything. And the fucked up thing is like, I think that that's the reason why it's not worth that deeper thing. It's not just you thing. It's mm -hmm. a combination of him probably being and, more so. And I probably haven't it. handled it maturely like I should have. Sometimes I get frustrated. No, no, no. Okay, even if you fix all of this stuff. If she still wants to be in adult industry, they don't match up. Like, they have to understand. They keep thinking, if I love this girl enough, she'll stop doing corn. Maybe. 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 But what if she isn't? What if she goes to therapy and fixes her emotional um, detachment and then she still wants to do corn? That's the problem. It's like, even though he's right, even though, you know what I mean? Like, she has some emotional problems. I think in the back of the boys' head, they're thinking, if we can help her with this, she'll stop doing it. What if she doesn't stop? What if she does stop? Great. But what if she doesn't stop? Frustrated, and I'm sorry for that as well. I, I think we're both just figuring things out. I haven't been in a serious relationship since I was like in high school. I don't even know if you can consider that serious. No. So we're both kind of like... I do not consider high school serious. I'm so sorry. New to all of this. Serious in the sense that it's like a learning moment, like it's a big deal for your 15-year-old self, but I mean adult. Have you ever gone to therapy? Oh, like oh. a little therapy. bit, yeah. yeah. You guys should try like couples therapy. <laughs> but it's like, should we have to do that if we were only together for like... If you want it to work. Long? If you want it to work, you know? I've uh, that's probably like a bad sign though for relationships. I don't think you so. You need to go to therapy. Like shut up, Bradley. Shut up, Bradley. Seven months in. Yeah, but I don't think that's like because that there's probably tough. that sounds scary. That's no. like this is <laughs> no, 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 because I think it's it's not so much just therapy for you guys to work. It's therapy for each of you individually to see how you guys that's are showing true. up for the, your partner. No, 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 showing up for themselves. Bradley doesn't understand. They're probably still not going to be together because he still doesn't want her to do adult work. He has to understand the therapy is only going to help with them individually. Yes, but they're probably still going to be broken up. And I True. think there's probably things both of you that So like many people think if I go to therapy, I get to stay with my partner. Oh, if we go to couples therapy, we get to stay together. That's not how it works, guys. Every Well, my, my therapy story is infamous where like I got into therapy and like it definitely was the reason I broke up with my partner. Now, if I only hadn't gone back, I went on again and off again. Worst five years of my life, let me tell you. Well, not literally, but they were pretty bad. And a big part of that was because I was so dysfunctional and so toxic. I just kept thinking, I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. Sometimes you got to let it go. You love it. Let it go. You love it. Let it go. I'm telling you right now. These people are not meant to be together. They have different values. Like maybe Nick's more over, over loving, over giving. And like maybe part of that, it creates uncomfortableness within you because you find yourself not being able to do the same sort of things. And he's like, because he's doing it, he's kind of expecting it. Cause that's normally how people act, right? Like they give and they kind of like, well, how come I'm not depending on what like your love language is. Like if someone's super like touchy, and they like, that's the way they show love and they touch you, but then you never touch them. They're like, well, okay. is, is it not the same? Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then like they get their own insecurities that aren't even having to do with your work and all this other shit. So it's like, you guys okay. may not fully understand that about each other because like you individually don't understand that. Like, fully okay, okay, Bradley, very good. Very good. Fully about yourselves, like what you really truly need and how you truly need it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what good, I'm saying? Good. So yeah. it's just kind of like, 
when I look at it, because like you guys right now, if I'm looking at you, I don't think it's done. In my mind, it's not done. <sighs> It like just because they're going to do an on again, off again thing. And then there's going to like, you know, because unless they are ready, the values thing again, Bradley's not understanding. He keeps there's no way he just had this conversation with her and he's not doing the math. How does them getting like fixing that problem change the fact that she's on OF? The one thing he had a major problem with is none of the emotional stuff. It was the OF stuff. Hello. The things you're saying and the way you're interacting. And it's like, obviously, there's something going on. It's tough, but like, I think it could be fixed. Doesn't need to. Obviously, it's not up to me. It's not my life. But like, when when I talk to you about where you want to go and like what you want to do, it's just in your mind. And Girl. this is fine. Like, if you don't want to have a family and you don't want to have this or that, whatever. And if you just want to make a ton of money, then just like keep chasing that. But I could tell from I could tell you from experience. Not, in, I've spent a lot of my life just chasing that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm 34 years old and I look back and I'm like, damn, I kind of wish I spent more time like chasing a solid relationship. Right. Yeah. And I, I never, I never looked at that hard enough. And now I find myself being like, I wish I gave that more time to mm -hmm. just develop certain things within myself to be able to show up the right way for the people that I wanted to be with. Right. So again, none of there's no right or wrong here, but like mm. your direction of where you want to go is just like, you're just looking at money and I get it. Right. But mm -hmm. You know, at some point, unless that's all you want, it's just like, wh where are you? Where are you going to be? Yeah. I don't know. That's just like what motivates me right now. Yeah. I yeah. Let her live her life. Look, ultimately, I really think the life you're living will lead you to people that are similar to you. And those people will find you. And then those are probably going to be the people you're going to marry. Because like, again, you know, not everybody gets to be in a place where they meet um, their person. Like that's just the reality of life. Not every, if you're aiming for the soulmate, if you're aiming for the, the person, not the one, but like the a really compatible person, a person who's like genuinely so special to you, then you might not meet them in this lifetime. Right. And so I think it is better to pursue a career and to pursue your life. And along the way, if you're lucky, you meet them. And look, I'm not just saying that because that literally happened to me, but obviously that happened to me. Right. I wasn't pursuing people. I was living my life and I was I was like going on dates if you know whatever but I wasn't like I wasn't concerned with it I wasn't consumed by it and I was only having zoom dates during COVID because like why not but um yeah this person came into my life and bada bing bada boom but again like I was just living my life I was planning my life I was planning my life like I was going to be single and they came into my life and that's great but I did focus on my career and look like I I love my career. I work seven days a week. I'm happy to be here with you guys right now. It's so much fun. But what if I had a partner who was like, hey, I, I, you can't stream that long or hey, you can't be on OnlyFans or hey, you can't do It's like, that's not my soulmate. My soulmate knows what he's dating and what he married. He married a person who's a YouTuber, a content creator, uh, OnlyFans content creator. Like he married me and I, I got to keep my life. Like I got to keep my life even though I got married and he got to keep his. He can play his video games and live his life and we can watch anime and have so much fun. He got to stay in his country. I got to leave mine and have some fun. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ugh, they're beating a dead horse trying to tell her to stop OF. I know. They're so frustrating. Stop trying to convince this woman to stop her life. She's obviously fine with it, which is the problem, which is why she's probably checked out. You know what I mean? Because like this would be so annoying to me. This would be, oh, if she only was in tune with her feelings, she wouldn't want to do this. Maybe. I'm open to that for sure. That doesn't mean they're still going to be together. Nah, you know, it just, I don't believe in it. I have, I've only been doing this for like two years. Like it, I don't know. I feel like yeah. it's, wow, I'm still two years? in like the beginning phase oh. of my career. And Yeah, she's so young. Let her do it for another two years, you know? It was... I just felt like I could never do anything. Like I was always scared to stream on Twitch because I would always be scared like something would happen that would upset him. Like yeah. I, or I would say or I would do something or I would be scared to even like. That's like, how when I feel I about went, our videos. When I That's went and I did the I'm neon and Sneeko stream like the whole time I'm like texting him because I'm like scared. Like did I say something that offended you? And it's just like <laughs> when you having that mentality like I felt like it was having like an effect on like my performance of like just being entertaining in yeah, general okay yeah. this is and this um i need to go take only fans photos because this girl's killing it yo that is a great picture bros 
she's known as all natural. Yo, these are great photos. Oh, shiza. Wait, I got to make a second Instagram for like more risque stuff and not YouTube stuff. Oh my gosh. Like she's killing it, bro. She is killing it. Two million subscribers. Wait, don't, don't, don't look, don't look. Oh my God. I almost just possibly clicked on something adult. Ooh. What's her name? Her name is Sky Bree. S-K-Y space B-R-I. Sky Bree. She's killing it, bruh. Good for her. She's gorge, bro. This is why I think like, you know, you break up for a reason. And that's why I think we should at least see why. Because I've lost my, like, I feel like I've lost my purpose. I'm so scared to even talk in the videos to everyone. Like, it, both of us. <sighs> I think she's right. I'm right. Both of us have lost, like, feel a little lost. Yeah. We can't do what we, like, set out to do. Yeah. And, like, yeah, that's that. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. And well, it, honestly, the best thing you guys could be doing is like maybe, yes, yeah, take a little time and like see what you really, really want. Because when time is apart, you'll be like, oh, damn, did I really want this that way? And you also give yourself space to breathe and like see if the things you're doing individually are really what you want to also mm. be spending more time mm -hmm. doing. Right. You know, mm -hmm. so I think you guys are on the right path. Again, I, I don't think it's to me. I know you guys are broken up or whatever, but it doesn't seem that Oh, my way. God, Bradley. I'm going to. Especially because you guys are moving in. That's like. Insane. We haven't had this for like two months. So, damn. At least we're not like buddies or anything like that. I feel like that's what causes people to get back together when you like Fuck start him. like you go back to. Yeah, that's tough. Damn, two months. Maybe like a month and a half. I was gone for a long time. Damn, you've been. That's crazy. And then we. It's crazy. And then I, I feel like both of us when we fight, and like have this these feelings, neither of us want to do anything like it's very like yeah it's very intense emotional i've never and i think with her too like neither of us have had people who've ever made us like weak or soft for someone else or it's just very it's a lot all right quick interruption for the podcast shady ray Whoa. check this out i actually have really not bad I this said audio I is not eyesight, good bradley but i have really bad eyes when it comes to light so shady, shady ray's got my rays. back super dope really like oh. just clean not overdone well designed and yeah, so listen, if I drive, like if I drive at night, this sounds crazy when some guys and I like you're insane. But if I drive at night, I have my eyes are like, like they're like a weird shaped pupil. So I'll get like migraines and shit. There's too much light. Pop the glasses on and I'm flying. But shady rays will protect your eyes. If you, you know, you're like this. Cause I what drive look like sometimes. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to get a migraine. Pop it on. I'm like this. What Boom. do they look like? Just, just fuck. Cause I get, I kind of like. I have night blindness a little bit, but I also have that thing where like you see the light weird. Focus, or like sometimes I'll be driving that. PCH and like, uh, like code rock talk for your loved one. What do they look like? It's up to you, shadyrays.com, code rock talk. Let's go. So what? What? Uh, we didn't even see what they look like, Bradley. Hello, I almost see. He almost had me. What could make it work? What do you think? Nothing. I honestly think it would have to be time. Like he has to go do his thing. Like really like grind out his youtube because i just think that's what i don't know i just think we need time no time heals all Where wounds but time time i don't know man i don't believe it <laughs> i don't know they're just not old enough they don't have enough tools to know oh this is like their first real love guys this is like their first real love oh my god man it's just uh like honestly uh, like, if you could right now continue it, would you continue it? It's it like, was just constant fighting. Like, constant, yeah, she's constant. Right. constant. We both. There shouldn't be constant fighting. Red flag. Ups and downs. Red flag. Fighting. Red flag. Screaming. Red flag. Emotional turmoil. Red flag. They're less than a year. Seven months they dated, right? Total red flag. And again, it's not your fault. They're just too young to know. This isn't your soulmate. I personally don't think it's romantic when people have like a tough relationship. Some people feel really good about it and that's fine. No judgment. But for my type of relationship, that is the, that's why you should break up. Like having a tough relationship to me would be hard, but I understand some people that's like their thing. I don't like it though. I don't like the MGK, Megan Fox relationships. I don't like the struggle relationships i don't have i don't want to work hard i don't want to make each other cry i don't i don't want to hurt each other's feelings like 
I don't want to do any of that stuff. And I feel like sometimes people think that's like a sign of really good chemistry. And maybe it is for your relationship. But for me, it's a sign of like really something bad's happening. Like something toxic is happening and dysfunctional, you know? I remember that like the day before we were both texting each other, like we're just exhausted. Don't want to do that. Don't yeah, fight I'm anymore. They need time. They need enough time to realize they were both being stupid a long time ago. True. It's just like, it was never like that. Yeah. And can't do i can't do them more she can't do them more i don't want to make her upset no. she doesn't want to make me good feel upset. don't do it bradley's so um, wrong why is bradley so wrong about this like he's right that they might force it to keep going but they shouldn't he shouldn't be encouraging them to get back together you know how are you gonna do if you're living in the same house and she i did a tough marriage being single was okay is okay i did a tough marriage like you had like a, a tumult tumultuous <laughs> marriage you had some girl coming over and film a scene. Uh, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to bring anything to the house. Okay. Oh. Yeah, because like. <laughs> oh, see, that's hard. Like, that's your living space. No, your home should be where your heart is. I guess she can go to the other person's house. Uh, I, I think do. it's going to be fun. I stay in my room most of the time, like whenever I'm home. I'm not really like, I don't ever like hang out in like the living room or anything. She does seem very introverted. She does seem. Someone said she's neurodivergent, maybe. Maybe she is. Hmm. Should be good. And he travels a lot. So. True. We'll see. It's true. Damn. So so are you working on anything else besides this this like more only stuff? Streaming. Twitch. Yay. I have a sick setup. It just we're it I'll just follow her tomorrow. Tomorrow. What's her Twitch? Or what? Desktop or like IRL? Yeah, desktop. Stuff? I do have an IRL setup, but I haven't used it yet. So maybe I'll get into that. IRL's the fun wave dude IRL scares me why because all this like crazy is happening oh <laughs> I like whenever I'm around like because I've done like a few IRL streams it's like they're like tapped into like a different energy is it's like fair? the the streamers or the, the audience streamers they're just yeah. like it's like the real scribe breed. get a viral clip by any means yeah. like yeah that type of vibe. crazy yeah would you ever do IRL stuff we're starting two weeks we made our Twitch, we made our streaming uh, YouTube. We announced it on the channel. We start in two weeks. Yeah, IRL. I'm excited. You're starting it too. Yeah, well, me okay. and Steve have a show. We just oh. haven't. We haven't like been consistent mm -hmm. with it yet, just because we're, we're yeah, where we yeah, live yeah. at. That's gonna go. That's gonna go great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're going to live together, which is so strange. What is strange? Like, what a strange decision to make. Yeah, but it's young. I get it. I've tried to. I've tried to do weird things. I'm not. I'm. I can't completely blame them. I've done really silly things with people in the past so like no judgment but yeah like this is probably not gonna end really well it's gonna great for content views for a bit though so there you go um we're gonna start on the 19th you're gonna bring okay i'm gonna leave it at that guys i feel like we've watched enough of bradley's podcast go watch the rest if you would like i'll link it in the chat um or at least go check out here i'll like bradley's stream or his podcast good stuff actually let me subscribe i'm not subscribed to bradley um, I wonder why, actually. I guess I'm not in that part of YouTube, but, you know, I'll subscribe. Maybe he'll bring on some more interesting guests. Thank you to the person who told me to watch this. It's interesting watching people go up and down in relationships, talk about how dysfunctional and toxic it is, and then to see people still rooting for them. Like, look, I'm rooting for you both to be healthy. Um, but ultimately, like, I am not convinced that you treat your soulmates this way. And I'm using the word soulmate to kind of say, like, that person, not the one, I don't believe in magic here, but, like, that really special person that you're supposed to love. You know what I mean? Like, the really special person you're supposed to love. Um, if you weren't reacting, I would never watch that. Hey, that's why streamers are important. And that's what people need to understand. All these people who are anti-react content, you have to understand, you were never going to get these people's views anyway. Me too. I wouldn't watch most of the videos on YouTube if my favorite YouTubers weren't watching them. Like, I would never find this on my own, right? People have to understand, like, that's the best part about watching react channels is they'll introduce you to videos you would never have seen on your own. And maybe sometimes you'll subscribe to them. But mostly, I understand. Thank you proof all these people that are so anti-react channels like i don't know why people don't get it like we want to watch our people react to it anyways speaking of which um thank you for being here thank you for watching me react i do appreciate it i wish them the best but i really hope that they go to therapy separately i hope she works on her emotional stuff i hope he works on understanding 
um, why his values are the way they are. It's no problem that he doesn't want to date a girl in corn. That's totally okay. He just got to, he's got to really know why. So he doesn't just think it's like, oh, well, this reason and this reason. And like, you got to know why it's happening. You know what I mean? If you want to check out their stuff, um, I know I think my audience is a little too old for their content, if I'm being honest. But this was Nick Narasena and Br Sky Bree. And um, we just watched the truth about why they broke up. So they were not compatible. That's the answer. In my head, in real life, I'm dead. My belly's being fed, and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine. Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed. So why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking. Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool dun, dun, dun.